Bada bam, bada bam, bada bam, bada bam. All right. Chat makes a Pokemon fan game. It's like a big thing we do on this channel. Um, if you're new here, this is Chat makes a Pokemon fan game. Basically, Chat makes a Pokemon fan game. So everything that you see here, Chat has made, and we are going live right now. I don't. Everybody's watching their ad right now though, so I don't even think a lot of people are seeing this right now. But yeah, this is the game so far. If you're interested, check out my uh, video called Building the Perfect Pokemon Game. It'll tell you exactly how you can make this Pokemon fan game with us. And hell yeah. With that being said, we are live. How's everybody doing? I'm really, really hoping that today's stream is going to go a lot better than a lot of our other, not a lot of our other streams, than yesterday. Um, I'm also really tired today, y'all. <laughs> I'm really tired, but it's okay because we're going to have fun today. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't matter if Streamlabs doesn't work which I don't think Streamlabs is working still. <laughs> I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I don't think Streamlabs is working, which is actually pissing me off. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened to Streamlabs, y'all. I don't know. It broke for Chris Pache's channel too, so I, I can't really say anything. You can still go to the store and redeem stuff. You just can't get the link for the store. You gotta actually go to Streamlabs and find the link, and that's kind of the only way to do that. So... You got a new cut? I did not get a new cut. I just, it's just styled like this right now. <laughs> Why is there SS gameplay Subway Surfers? Because it's funny HD. Guys, um, let's go ahead and go over what we made yesterday during stream, but I actually changed a little bit of it, so it's going to be better than when you saw it. Hi, Lens. How you doing, bro? I changed a lot of it, actually, of the event yesterday, so I'm really happy to show you guys. The full event, and it's actually a cutscene now, like, there's actual, like, uh, visuals that kind of happen, and, real quick, I'm gonna turn off the background music, turn this up, and then, uh, pause this music right here. Alright, so we actually changed a lot of this event yesterday, or I did, um, under, uh, Shisumu's request and a couple other things, so let's go ahead and go through it, I'm gonna read all the text out loud. Amaya says, Hey, Kenter. I was just poking around different places in the city. What have you been up to? Phone rings. Oh, something happening? Ronald, there's a public announcement. Get Rusia on the line. On it, Jessica. <laughs> a broadcast? What could that be about? Says Amaya. It doesn't happen often, but we have a public announcement from General Rusia. It's going to be heard across the entire region of Benerica. Wow, it must be something serious. Do you think it has anything to do with the team light guys? And then bam. Attention, citizens of our great nation. This is an announcement from I, head of Benerican Domestic Affairs and general of our military lectern branch, Rusia. Grim, uh, Rusia Grimvane. And then look, it's gonna go across Benerica and show characters that we've seen before and have text that plays during it. Recently, yo, Nasty Chaos, thank you so much for the $2, my guy. Thank you so much. Let's get this started. On God. Recently, a group of Mongolian extremists that go by the name Team Light have began to take action in the region, spreading chaos. While we are not sure of their goals, they are without a doubt dangerous force that warrants caution. And then bam, look, it'll go to, it's going to Bongwe Town and we get Professor Jumpscare, a threat to the region and the safety of its people. I think it goes to Silverfield now. No, no, Route 5. As a Bongolian group, the uniforms consist mostly of bright yellow, so in regards to matters of identification, I have three messages. And then it's gonna go to Silverfield City. Here we go. I'm like, it's your mom. Firstly, to avoid confusion and misunderstandings, it would be best to dress yourself in a way that avoids putting the color yellow on display. Thank you so much, Nasty Chaos. Honestly, it means the world. And then now we're in Dust Bros. Secondly, while not everyone who wears a large amount of yellow is a criminal, it is enough to warrant concern and caution. Look at that. We should not go on a wish hunt to us, says our, brother, our brothers and sisters. And then Lizulite and Miles and Kalash is running back and forth. However, it would be best to keep an eye out, maybe keep a few steps back on the street. It's better to stay safe rather than sorry in a situation such, uh, such as this. And then... Finally, we got, uh, we got Dr. Doofus, or Professor Doofus, 
Now, thirdly, if you spot anyone who uh, looked to be a part of Team Light, who may look to be a part of Team Light acting out and making a ruckus, please inform any nearby station offers so we can question those in mission. And then, we're back here. Just like that. I apologize for interrupting the currently scheduled broadcast with this urgent message. Farewell and best wishes. This is Rusia Grimvane, and this emergency broadcast is now concluded. Mwahaha! Click! Bada bam. And it's over. Yo, nasty! Why the five bucks, bro? I appreciate you, my guy. I've been absent from recent streams because work. I'm sick today, though, but I'm heading back to bed. No, no worries, Nasty Chaos. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for even just a few minutes. And thank you for the five, bro. You do not have to do these things. You're going to do it anyways. I'm done, Nasty. You know what? I'm done saying that. No longer am I going to sit here and be like, you don't have to do that because you're going to do it anyways. I can't. I can't. I can't prevent it anymore, but thank you so much, my guy. So it was about Team Light. This really can't be good then. And then look at that. We're good. We can leave. But look what happens when we leave. <laughs> we got Cove, suspicious character that could possibly be a part of Team Light. Are you him? Yes, I'm him. You'll be coming with me. <laughs> and then obviously I'm going to fight the dude. <laughs> Just like that. He's going to send out a Skarmory. And then I'm going to obviously debug the battle because I don't feel like winning the battle. Hallelujah, just like that. You do understand that battling a military officer after a confrontation is considered probable cause, right? So you will be coming with us. And then Amaya comes out. Ma'am, are you with him? Uh, yeah, he's my friend. Then you'll be coming with us as well. <laughs> okay, where are we going? And then we go to jail. <laughs> it's so funny, bro. You got us arrested? What did you even do? What were you thinking dragging me along into this? Don't tell me. Are you a part of Team Light? And then, yeah, she goes and pouts in the corner. Miles comes in. Dot, dot, dot. Then he walks back out. <laughs> then he walks back in. <laughs> How in the world did you scallywags end up here? Are you stupid? Detective Miles, please get us out of here. I don't know what happened, but Kenzer dragged me into this. I can vouch for you both, but I need to use the restroom first. It'll take a few days. A few days? <laughs> It'll probably be a few days before Rusia will even get around to you two. Unless you want to spend a few nights together, you can try getting to Rusia yourself. And then he throws a key over to us. <laughs> I recommend not leaving through those doors. It's heavily guarded on the outside. Think back to when you bought my gym. Don't you even think about escaping. It's a bad idea. You've already made me mad enough. I don't care. I'm going to escape anyways. I'm going to open this door. Bam. <laughs> I'm escaping prison. <laughs> Obviously, we can't go out this door. And this is where we left off. Um, just figuring out what's going to happen after here. We go here. The rival's sitting here. I kind of started this, but I didn't like uh, finish it yet. So it kind of just ends right there. So that's where we are right now. Um, I'll play the background music again. Bada bam. So guys, with that being said, yo, Nasty did another two bucks. I missed it. I'm so sorry. Miles leaving then coming back is my favorite running gag. I like it. It's funny. Um, uh, AM, I'm broke due to unforeseen bills, so no Cassos. So I don't care, Cassos. You do not need to do that. Uh, is you just hanging out with us is perfectly okay. Please, please don't donate today. <laughs> hey, we got a high score. Let's go, pancakes. Hey, pancakes, your character's gonna appear today in uh in this uh, in the uh cutscene that we're making. Main character definitely likes Amaya. Main character's gay. No, probably not. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's it's up to the main character, whoever the main character is. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right. So guys, we obviously escape the jail cell and we run up here, right? And then the rival's gonna stop us right here. And then what I have him saying right now is, player, you came to visit me. How did you know that I got arrested? And then we don't know what's going to happen after that. So it's up to you guys. This is where chat makes a fan game starts. What do you guys want to happen right here? Should he, uh, why did he get arrested? For example, he's obviously going to have to explain to the player how he got arrested. So any ideas? How did the rival get arrested? <clears throat> Say Jax, bro. What? <laughs> Zax evasion. That's so funny, Sigga Snaps. Also, how are you doing, Sigga Snaps? Thank you so much for hanging out with us. He arrested for tax fraud. Yo, BW, we got a ton of lurkers in here. How are you guys doing? Hello, I volunteered to be here. That's so funny. Mongolian profiling. An option to say no, I just got arrested, or yes, I came to see you, or how did you end up in here? 
I don't know how I can't... Well, then the player would be lying. I don't think we should, like... Uh, you got arrested for littering? <laughs> you think so? What if he was involved? Uh, what if he was caught hanging out with these two team light guys right here that got arrested? Because the... um, Because... The rival is a part of Team Light, but that's not revealed yet, and it probably won't get revealed yet. Grape, and then everyone is shocked. He says, no, I just ate a grape. I was part of an experiment, and I got jailed to not tell anyone. Bro, what? <laughs> team Light Association? You're right, like, he was hanging out with these two Team Light guys. Um, let's say in Port Bueno. I guess Port Bueno would be a place that they, they'd be hanging out. Or maybe just Grandstone, and then they got taken here, if that makes any sense. Yo, that, that's awesome, Shiga Snaps. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you like the project, honestly. Um, we will be doing some trainers today, obviously, because this is like a whole dungeon thing, uh, where we have to escape. We're gonna battle some military grunts and stuff like that. So, uh, player, you came to visit me. How did you know that I got arrested? Um, and then what? Amaya should probably start walking over and be like, um. He didn't come, he didn't, we didn't come to visit anybody. He got us arrested. <laughs> I was with Sanja and Jeremy over to the side and they put us in jail for some reason. <laughs> well, just openly the email. Oh yeah, I was hanging out with the team light guys on guard. <laughs> he blew up a Taco Bell bathroom, bro. What? <laughs> Why the two light grunts laying on the bed like that? They're not laying on the bed. That's a, that's a carpet. That's a carpet, Dane Acosta. <laughs> you came to visit me. How did you know that I got arrested? And I'm thinking that Amaya should just like appear from the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just right here. She'll appear right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, the name Amaya appears. And then Amaya will appear when I turn that switch on, of course. Rival four, just like this. Bada bam, they're a couple. On oh, God, the team light guys are a couple. They're dating. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm not a worker. Uh, I'm not a worker. I'm just new. Oh, that's awesome, BW. Thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. I don't know, man. I was just minding my own business, but the cops called it public urination near a free school. Oh my God, we're not going there. We're not going there. Um, Jigga snaps. We're trying to keep this as family friendly as possible, more like um, teenager kind of thing. Um, not really family friendly, but more directed towards teenagers for this game. So we're not going 18 plus. Uh, I wouldn't say PG-13, like it could be PG, but it would be, but it would be a more mature story if that makes any sense. No worries, like everybody in chat does stuff like that, Sugar Snaps. There's no swearing, no, there's no swearing. Everybody in chat kind of isn't that bad, I could see it. The sidewall takes so crunch great. Everybody in chat jokes around like that too, but I never go with any like mature ideas if that makes any sense. Professor Jumpscare called the cops on me for stealing the McDonald Pokemon. <laughs> he didn't steal it. Professor Jumpscare let him go. I got arrested for wearing a Team Light uniform. How rude. I feel like just Team Light Association would be the most sense. Like he was just talking to these guys. I was uh like I was just talking to the uh, to the guys, and it turns out they were from Team Light, and I got arrested for it. For, uh, to Taken here for questioning. Yo, player name, I was just walking down the street, and some cops jumped me, and no, I was watching a pirated movie. <laughs> you guys are having fun with these, uh, <laughs> how to get arrested. <laughs> Alright, how did you know that I got arrested? And then Amaya's going to appear, um... I'm pretty sure it's just 43 because that's the event that I just made. So she's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. She's going to move that much. It's going to wait like 10 frames and she's going to say... Um... We didn't come to visit anyone. And then wait for the move to complete. And then she's gonna say, um, we didn't come to visit anyone. This imbecile got us arrested. <laughs> come to visit anyone, wait for moves completion, and then this imbecile got us arrested. Need to put the thing back. So what, should, uh, sh should that... Like my non-missing stream streak. You you have been here a lot, CT. 
Just as an easter egg, have some random dude in a cell got arrested for eating the sidewalk because it would be funny and dumb. I think that's a little too dumb. What is Amaya came in and using... Amaya came in using the escape rope animation? There's no escape rope animation at all. It kind of just turns the screen black. That's not like encoded into uh, the Pokemon Essentials, unfortunately. We didn't come to visit anybody. This embed uh this imbecile got us arrested. And then what? What should the rival say? This is his first time meeting uh Amaya, the, the girl rival. What should he say? <laughs> 13. What is he gonna say to that? <laughs> to, to her walking through? <laughs> you single? Ha, what a nerd. That's actually good. That's probably- that's something that you would say. Ha! <laughs> what a nerd. Ha! <laughs> what a nerd. What are you doing with my best friend? Oh, now he's calling them his best friends? <laughs> Are you chick and arrested for what? Can I tell you about our lord and savior Arceus? <laughs> Then Amaya would say, um, didn't you get arrested too? That's a funny idea. It's not a haircut! What are you guys talking about? Ah, what a nerd. And then Amaya's going to be like, didn't you get arrested too? Matter of fact, who are you? Matter of fact, who are you? And then what? Uh, and then he's gonna say... Well, what is he gonna say? Has the same haircut as me? Oh, that's funny, CT. Why is your name just T? That's weird. No, I'm Jesus. Castles modded in chat? Of course he is. He's Castles. You got Dan Acosta with the YouTube emotes. Didn't you get arrested too? Matter of fact, who are you? And then what's he gonna say back? Gazer came, no longer best stream. You're so mean, Smash God. No Mercy was the update in Overworld. Wait, in Overwatch? Oh, I've never seen a... I don't know anything about uh, Overwatch. He should just say, I'm him, to I'm him. <laughs> the greatest stranger, the greatest trainer from Bongwe. Ah. Well... I'm the greatest trainer from from Bongoy Town, of course. And then he's gonna say, um, the player name um knows that we both uh left we both left Bongoy Town to go on our journey at the same time. Well, I'm the greatest trainer from Bongoy Town, of course. Player knows that. We both left Bongoy Town to go on our journey to go on our journey at the same time. What a co what a coincidence. Uh what a coincidence that we all would end up here. Maya's gonna say, what a coincidence that we all would end up here. What did you even do, do to get arrested? Alright, now's when Thomas is gonna tell us uh, how he got arrested. The rival. How, how should he have gotten arrested? <laughs> Refer the fact Miles will try to vouch for them and Thomas is like, that one weird gym guy? Is this Uranium soundtrack? It is. This is Uranium soundtrack. Jaeger <laughs> counter noises? <laughs> because he has negative riz. <laughs> she was jaywalking. Team Light guys say, shut it, we're trying to sleep. I blame the yellow guys, that's funny. <laughs> I bl Yeah, that works perfect. I blame the yellow guys in the, the cell next to me. We were talking, and they wouldn't keep their mouth shut. We were talking, and they were being too loud around... 
we were talking and they were being too loud. Uh, something like that. I was gonna ask this, but where's this region based? It's a based in America. Uh, it's called Bun Erica. Just in stairs at the buggy Athlon. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, the USB. It's the USB, the United States of Bun Erica. Gazer spelled it wrong. It's it's E. Like America. Well, I guys should just tell you, hey, you're the kid from the factory. Did you get arrested with us too? Oh, I don't think. Well, the, the player stopped them, so it, he wouldn't really know why. The light grunts would just prove his point by shouting, "Boy, pipe down!" All right, bet, 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 bet. That's funny. There's got to be an Ohio man. I think we're gonna have a city based on Ohio. I think. I think the people want that. Nurka. We were talking. Um, I blame the yellow guys in the cell next to me. He doesn't even need to explain. That's all he really has to say. And then, uh, one of the yellow guys is going to say, Oi, pipe down. We'll just say grunt one. Oi, pipe down. <laughs> Okay, well, if you're a friend of... Okay, okay, so so how are we going to break the other rival out? How, how's it going to move towards that? Oh, I piped down my boyfriend and I are having a date. We're not going that far. We need a Florida town and everyone is just on fire. BW, that's funny because we basically have Florida in our region map. Hold on, let me pull it up real quick. It's really funny. God oh, damn it. It's my back itch right where I can't itch it. Like, why couldn't it itch anywhere else besides right where I can't reach? I could not reach exactly where it itches. <laughs> Let me pull up the region map. Uh, pictures right here. If you look in the bottom right, you can literally just see, uh, Florida. Which is funny. I don't know why it's taking so long to open. There it is. Look at that. The bottom right's literally just Florida, bro. <laughs> It's literally Florida. <laughs> but yeah, this is our region map so far. This is where we're at right now. We're in Newcastle City. Um, our, the biggest city in our region so far. Uh, which is this city right here. Uh, this is a military base city. And right now, we are inside the military base. Because we got captured, of course. It's going to be the league. Where on the map is the next gym located? Uh, no clue, Robo. That's kind of what we're going to decide once we get to the next gym. Please tell me you're incorporating some kind of Florida Man meme where a character shows you a newspaper and that's on the front page. <laughs> it's so funny. Um... We probably will at some point, once, especially once we get down to that Florida area, we probably will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Florida's probably gonna be how we get to the island below Florida. There's like this island here, which I don't know what this is gonna be like for. We don't know anything besides what we've made so far. We kinda just go with the flow, if that makes any sense. We kinda just make the game as we go. Also, I'm really glad that stream's doing a lot better than it did yesterday. I don't know if there's Fakemon, but like a dark type monkey Pokemon based off the invasive species in Florida. Um, BW, if uh, you don't know like a lot about our, our, our game, I have a video on the channel called Building the Perfect Pokemon Game, and that kind of just uh, kind of just explains everything. Uh, if you have any questions, there are Fakemon in our game. In fact, there's more Fakemon than normal Pokemon. So um, yeah, if you want to know kind of exactly how it all works, uh, you can you can run it for sure. After you break the rival, I have the player walk past the cell with the grunts, and the grunt says, You're just gonna leave us poor souls behind, and Amaya or the rival is just like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad BW, I'll see you when you get back, my guy. Shut up, dumb highlighters. Why'd we take you with us? <laughs> okay. Um. I guess the rival, like Thomas, can just point out, Hey, what's that key you got there? Can you get me out of here? Boy, pipe down, and then oh, the rival can uh, can just be like, come to think of it, uh, player. What 
What's that key you got there? Can you get me out of here? Come to think of it, player name, what's that key you got there? Can you get me out of here? Thomas would just try to squeeze through the bars and fail miserably. <laughs> That's funny. What's that key you got there? Can you get me out of here? And then, um... The event will end, so we have the option. So we actually go to the cell and open the cell uh, for him. And then that's when the event will continue, basically. So come to think of it, player, what's the key you got there? Can you get me out of here? And then um, the switch, uh, not self-switch A, that wouldn't be the right switch. We'll do um, um, get Thomas out of cell switch. That's what I'm going to name the switch. And then when that switch is on, this goes away. We didn't come to visit anybody. Okay, I gotta turn on the uh, the switch for when Amaya appears. And then when that switch is turned on, uh, she disappears here. Bam, just like that. And then... I also need her to turn up. Right here. Cool. I think the event would honestly work right now. Also, did my chat freeze? I think it did. Have you done something like this before? Uh, Lotus Gamer, what do you mean by that? Like, an event like this? I've done a lot of stuff like this. Good night, Lens. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, my guy. Uh, not Lens Legendary. Lens, -a. Thank you for hanging out with us, Lens. Why the heck is him so eepy? He's just sleepy. L let him be sleepy. Is that key you got here? Can you get me out of here? Beautiful. And just like that, um, we have the option and you also need the player to start uh, turning up. We have the option to go over here and let him out. So, player twisted the key into the hole, it worked, and then switch Thomas is out, we'll turn on, because we let Thomas out. Um, when Thomas is out is on, this will do that. And then everything after that's just kind of up to us, no raffle streamlabs is broken. Yeah, streamlabs is broken, it sucks. Yo, the plushy man, how you doing my guy? Thank you so much for popping in here. This is Chat Makes a Fan Game, and we're doing an event right now where the, the where the player has to break out of uh, a military base. <laughs> Everyone turning up in prison. Oh god. <laughs> so then, how are we la raffling? We're not doing it. We can't raffle until Streamlabs uh, gets fixed. Thomas has not been warned by Miles about the guards guarding the doors, so he just rushes there and then it alerts them. Um. I feel like we would just, like, before he would do that, the player and Amaya would talk and, like, make that clear. Can I make a suggestion for a Pokemon, the plushy man? Uh, that would be way too much for me. That's why when we just have a Google form inside of the Discord and you just submit your Fakemon there. And then every, like, two months we go through all of them. Like, we go through every single one of them. And then we vote on which ones he like the best and which ones will be put into the game. So if you're interested, I would join the Discord. Uh, link should be in the description. Let me know if that doesn't work. Yeah, Streamlabs just not working. It's broken for, I think, every streamer right now. So that the exclamation mark Discord isn't going to work. It usually does, but right now it isn't. It'll be fun because we would have freedom, but he returns to prison. But then we just have to break him out again. I thought this was like a, a three-way thing where all where all the rivals and the, or both rivals and the player all escape together kind of kind of thing. You battle guards, I think they should have Chomp Hall and Jawable. Yeah, that would make sense. The link in the description's not working. There we go. Castles just sent it. It should work now with Castles link. Castles the goat on oh, God. 
We just hide in our cell by locking ourselves again. After we go free, after we go free, we go to petition Rusia, right? Yeah, that is that that is basically what's going on. We just hide in our cell by locking ourselves again. That would just be an unnecessary story plot, Miles. It would just kind of waste time if that makes any sense. I don't think that would really lead anywhere. Okay. So we break him out. Uh, does he move down? I forget. No, he just turns down. Just fine. So we break him out. Uh, it worked. Thomas is out. Door enter. Wait 10 frames. And then... We're gonna set a move route for the player to, uh, take a step back. So... There should be a move backward option. What the hell? Where's it at? Lower left, lower right, move at random, move toward player. One step backward, that's what I'm trying to do. One step backward, and then we're going to set a move route for Thomas to walk out of the cell. He's going to go down twice, over twice, and then down twice again. And then what kind of dialogue would the player, uh, would Thomas kind of give the player during this moment? Dang, man, you've got to catch up. Wait, what do you mean, she's in Oh, you're talking to castles right now. I don't think there's any way to check how many bananas you guys have. I do believe that you guys are earning bananas right now, though. I think. I think you guys are earning bananas. Guys, we just got to do a few streams without bananas until Streamlabs fixes itself. Because it's not working for Chris's channel either, so... I imagine it's down everywhere, which is something that I can't do. Read my message. Alright, hold on. Wait, how about Amaya and the main uh, character go to position while Thomas runs away as kind of like a hint he's morally dubious? Yeah, uh, I'd say that's a pretty good idea. No bananas. Yo, what's up, AMA? How you doing, bro? Or AM? I don't know what to call you, AM? I'm gonna call you AMA, because AMA sounds cool. I don't know what we're doing right now. We're finishing the jailbreak uh, cutscene, so... Um, we just broke Thomas out of jail, and what should he respond to the player with? Um, something stupid, probably. AMA? Okay, I got it. I got it. Or IMA. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Between your mom. So Thomas gets broken out of jail, right? I feel like Thomas, the character type for Thomas is more like the type to just be like, um... He's more of the, uh, the type to just kind of be like, um, you know, this doesn't make us friends, right? Because he just really doesn't want to be friends with the player. Like, um, I think he likes the player, but... He tries uh, running off and Amaya warns him not to go there. It's guarded. Yeah, that would work. That would work. Seriously, breaking me out? Thanks, I guess. Yeah, Noonstar, something like that would work. So you really got me out of here. You really got me out of here. Um. Thanks, I guess. But that still doesn't make us friends or anything. Can't be here for stream. That's all good, Deca Chat. I'll see you, bro. Thanks, I guess, but that still doesn't make us friends or anything. I feel like Thomas is kind of smart enough not to run for the door. He's got to know it's guarded. He, he he would ask something along the lines of like, yes, I did, Shisumu. If you want to watch it all, go back to the beginning of stream because I actually changed the cutscene too. Why is your text box so long? It's an extend text program. That makes it to where I can put more into one box. Uh... So what's the plan now? Yeah, I feel like Thomas wanted to just run out. I don't think he's that stupid. I mean, he's obviously a really good battler. So you got me out of here, thanks, I guess. But that still doesn't make us friends or anything. Go back after stream. All right, that works. That works. I'll probably show it again anyway, Shisumu. 
Thomas the type to be like, let me out, they're heathens. I don't think he's that type. I don't think he's the the type to kind of say something along the lines of that. I feel like Amaya should be the one that's like, so what's the plan? The door's guarded. How are we going to get out of here? Amaya can jump in. So what's the plan anyways? Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's saying Thomas is talking, but it should be uh, Amaya. So what's the plan anyways? The door is... The door is guarded, so it's not like we can just walk out. The door is guarded, so it's not like we can just walk out. Um, Thomas no clips away, never to be seen again. You should have the option to go to the left or go to the right as the text box. Wait, what do you mean, Jams? I'm confused. Stream bugging? Well, that sucks. Yeah, it'll fix. It should be fixed now. Yeah, yeah, it should be back. It does that from time to time. I don't have bad internet, but sometimes it'll just randomly disconnect. Just kind of out of nowhere. That's that's you, Toasty. For everyone else, just cut out once. So what's the plan anyways? The door's guarded. Maybe Thomas should be the one to say what's the plan anyways. So what's the plan anyways? And then Amaya is the one that jumps in and is like, the door is guarded, so it's not like we can just walk out. Detective uh, Miles told us to think back to when we challenged his gym. So maybe the Vince? Question mark? And then Thomas can be like, Oh, you're, t oh, you're talking about that, uh, detective, detective guy from Lazulite Town, right? Lazulite Town, right? Bam. You two's also acting whack for me. It seems to be good here. What's the plan anyways? Then Amaya says the plan and Thomas goes, hey, good luck with that all sarcastic like. Detective, more like defective. Oh, you're talking about that detective guy from Lazulite Town, right? Okay, that's a good. Uh, I, I like that Noonstar. Told us to think back to when we challenged his gym. I'm gonna get rid of so maybe the Vince. Oh, so you're talking about the detective guy from Lazulite Town, right? And then Amaya's gonna respond and be like, yeah. I think he was hinting for us. He was hinting. He was or he was giving us a hint to use the vents. And then Thomas is going to be like, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. And then Amaya's just gonna say, where else do you have to go? You're stuck with us, buddy. Where else do you have to go? If we can get to Rusia, if we can get to Rusia, we have Miles to vouch, to vouch for us. So unless you want to stay here, So, unless you want to stay here and rot, you're stuck with us, buddy. Off topic, but I'm making a cup of ramen in the flavor package. It's just a solid brick of soup flavoring. <laughs> oh, noon start. Oh, I've been there. I've been there. Miles is in the zoo. I, that is true. Infiltration missions in my mood? <laughs> For what? 
No, Miles is not in Dustboro. Dustboro is the town before the desert. Lazulite is the town after the desert. Stream is painful as hell right now. Is it lagging for you guys? Because my internet's good. It's telling me that it's fine. Oh, sarcastic like. Yep. Added it. Hi, Jess. How you doing? You know what else is in an infiltration mood? Dustboro's really good. Uh, Sugar Snaps. Do you want to see Dustboro? It's actually Burrow, so it's not Burrow. It's more Burrow, like, you know, a Burrow. But this is Dustboro right here. It's just a little town. This is actually where you meet Amaya. And then Lazulite Town is the sus town because the it's 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 all about being a suspicious little town. It's really cool. Um, we've done a lot, and we're um, we'll be finishing the fourth gym here soon, and that's when a public demo is going to be released. This is like the last chance for you guys to um, to submit stuff for the fifth gym leader, the uh, the obviously the the fifth uh gym fakemon and stuff like that that does look dusty but in a good way like a western town right it actually it, like it works really well among us pokemon needed if there isn't one already we don't have an among us pokemon but we have an among us themed gym i wouldn't say that we would need an among us pokemon at all I, there was like a couple among us submissions and none of them won i don't think people really like the idea of an among us pokemon i think it's more just like the the gym idea was fun but the, uh, making a Pokemon based off of it, not really. Okay. So unless you want to stay here and rot, you're stuck with us, buddy. And then... He's just gonna go, hmph. <laughs> he has nothing else to do. And then this is the player's opportunity. to talk to this and if we talk to this where we talk to it it's just gonna say it's a vent just like that and then once the uh switch is on it's a vent open it up question mark it'll be yes or no if no player left the vent alone if yes a uh, player opens the vent. And then when the when the vent opens, it'll play a door open sound effect. Door enter. It'll just play that. This sound right here. <laughs> Pretty sure you guys can hear that because I still have desktop audio on. Open the vent. Door enter on, that'll turn self switch A on. Then when self switch A is on, it'll change its graphic to look like the vent. Which I don't think is in here. No, 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 it is, it is. Because obviously I used it. Here it is. Open vent, just like that. And then when the player touches it, it'll obviously take him to a different part of the map. Should be a foxy jump scare. <laughs> Player, listen, he turns himself into a pickle. Funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> slash pl uh, player name just, uh, ba or backslash. No, that's forward slash. Forward slash player name just vented. He's the imposter. <laughs> I still find this type spread hilarious. Steel and Dragon so early is funny. I agree. It's just kind of what won the gym leader vote, so we couldn't really do anything about it. <laughs> All the good- all the good type gyms are the first gyms. Like, I wonder what the eighth gym's gonna be. Fucking bug, bro. The last gym's gonna be bug type. <laughs> Yo, what's up, BW? You came back. Maybe some type of dog breed fake him on. I don't know. We have a dog breed. Uh, we have a couple of them, I think. No, we have one. And then we're gonna have a, uh, a husky Pokemon, too, along with that. Alright, it's time to actually make the, uh, the whole entire thing. So, we go through this vent. And I imagine we come out on this end, right? We're gonna come out right here, past these military grunts, and then we need battles, of course. We need, like, uh, 
So we're gonna need some trainers to uh, make this a bit more interesting. We actually have to fight trainers and shit like that. I'll just go to Route 12 and uh, and pick a trainer. I'll just pick you. Bada bam. Uh, we can just put him right here. He's just kind of facing this way. Oh. Military grunt male. We'll just make this a male guy. Military male for the other one, too. Bam. And then the battle's obviously going to start. Military underscore M. We'll do all the names and stuff later. We'll just do a military M. Don't even have to worry about the text. Make sure that this encounter music is the correct music. So it would be... Um, military encounter this sound right here which this theme is so good this is like the perfect theme for a military encounter yo cyan you missed something really funny with your character earlier today uh earlier in this stream yeah it's so good all of our music is custom sugar snaps we have musicians that work on our game all of our music is custom all of our sprites are custom uh, so we got a military grunt here. Audio peeps, y'all are heckin' talented. Yeah, our, our, our musicians are all talented, bro. And I make a couple, uh, I, I make some of the tracks too. Not all of them, but I make some of them. And then we're gonna have a line of them right here. We're gonna make it kind of like a dungeon, basically. We'll have a line of them right here to kind of block the way. We'll make uh, one of them female, because why not? Bam. So we have to go through this door right here, or like one of these doors, and we can put another line of them like right here. I'll put one trainer here. Just like that. One trainer here. And then we'll have another line of them right here. And then just, you know, kind of make one of them female. Bada bam! Just like that. So we go through this vent, arrive in here, and we can uh, try to go down here, but there's a line of grunts blocking the way. There'll be a trainer there too, because why not? And then um, we go through this door, but we have to fight this guy to go through that door instead. Because these doors right here are going to take the player um, here into the uh, platoon into the platoon uh a bedroom so uh this is like a little maze of trainers i guess uh, i guess that would make the most sense it was kalei running around during important dialogue it was funny hey jerry Ann, how you doing jerry what if there is an among us guy from the gym in the vents that would be funny but uh i wasn't planning on mapping the vents at all i was just planning on the event just kind of being a, a teleporter if that makes any sense if y'all want to map the events we are uh, the vents we can but i was just thinking make it a teleporter this is a bro moment of massive proportions it's funny it's, it's, it's funny cyan you should go check it out or i'll probably show it eventually you don't have to go back and check out i'll, I'll probably show it at some point so we'll put a grunt battle here and a grunt battle here. We'll make this one a female, because why not? Bam, just like that. And then, um... Yeah, we just kind of put some grunt battles in here. What if an Among Us character from the gym comes out of it behind you and runs away? <laughs> That'd be so unnecessary, Pancakes. Like, Miles is wearing his costume fucking with everybody. So it'll be, it'll be Miles in his Among Us gym costume. And then he's just- and then he's just fucking with the player. Gym trainer escaping jail. <laughs> I'm gonna make a Fakemon. Make sure you guys pick, um... Pick next time we pick Fakemon. Let's go, Dane. Let's go. Miles doing it is hilarious. That would be really funny. What if the Among Us character comes out? That's a good idea. I, I I think including Miles in this in his Among Us costume would be funny. I think that's a great idea. 
Okay. So we need, um... Uh, another battle right here. And then I don't know what door we would want to get out of. I guess the goal wouldn't be to go out this door because these guys would see us. So going out that door wouldn't work. It would probably have to be, um... It would probably have to be this door right here so we can go down the stairs, right? Okay, Among Us has me dying right now. Sorry, I was watching something in my dad in here. No worries, Lawrence. So Bill keeps coming out the vents when you open them and you battle them. And when you escape, you fight some random with a full team of six slip eels. Why would slip eel be here? I don't <laughs> It's a military base. So we go in through either one of these doors. Both of them work. Um, they just have different trainer battles. And then I think the goal would to be would be to uh, to come out this door, right? Or just like one of these two doors to the bottom, like that. Or honestly, we could go in a vent again. We could like go through another vent. AFC wraps are back with the new mac and cheese wrapped. <laughs> with the new mac and cheese one. We have no redeems today. That's so sad. The redeems were so funny. Like, keep going in and out of vents. It'd be funny and it could work. Those mac and cheese wraps are so fire. I've never tried one ca uh, castles, which is kind of funny. Maybe we can have a vent, like, right here. Like, deadass, just right here. Yeah, unfortunately, the redeems aren't gonna work. <laughs> Let's uh, finish this first. So we want the player to go down one of these bottom doors, of course. Um, and then we just kind of fill this with some military grunt battles. Have to battle her. Go over here. We'll put another one, like, right here. And then we'll put one here as well. Then we can go down and over here. And then we'll put one more battle here. This is going to be pretty jocked filled with battles. Uh, we can't go out that door. So if we go out this door. We can kind of just have some grunts in the way. Just like this. Bam. Just like that. Uh, what's outside? So if we go to Newcastle's... Let me scroll up real quick. So like those doors lead to the outside. So like this door right here leads this way. So I think the goal actually... Is to go out this door. That's like the exit basically. But I want to go through like the whole base... So I think we do vent out of here. I'm gonna head out for a bit. I'll catch you all later. Have a good stream. No worries, Castles. Have a good night, my guy. I think the goal would be to go out here specifically just because uh, we need to get to Rusia and we have to go outside to go up to Rusia's office, which is right here. And then Rusia's office would be, um, would be this room at the very top here. And this is our goal. This is like where we're trying to get to is to Rusia. It's up to you guys, uh, BW. You guys are the ones who, uh, create everything. So if you want to submit your own Fakemon, you, uh, you can go submit your own Fakemon. So the goal would be to get out these two doors. Um, so we need to block these doors at the bottom somehow. Um, we can just do it right here, actually. Uh, there's gonna be a guy right here that's facing down, and he's gonna be like a, uh, He's going to block the player, so we aren't really so, so we go through here, and the goal is to get uh, somewhere to use a vent. So we need to find a vent real quick. So right here. Get the vent. And then maybe the vent can just be right here. That could work. 
Or we could just put it in the ground, actually. That would make sense, because then we could go downstairs. So the vent could be in the ground somewhere. Like, literally just right here. Bam. Vent right there. And then we can use this vent to go inside. Like, to go in the ground. That could work. And then we go through this vent, and it's going to take us downstairs somewhere. So this is the downstairs here. What if it takes us to the kitchen? <laughs> should it be the kitchen? Or should it take us, like, here or something? Kitchen, and then we make our way through the kitchen? Find a disguise, then we could just make it through. It's not really that, like, it, it's not, it's not that serious. Yo, whoever just subscribed, thank you so much. What's the name of the region? It's called Benerica, Samir. Thank you so much for popping in here. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in how this all works, highly recommend watching the video that explains everything that we're doing. Today, we're making an escape from the military base of uh, an event that happens. An option to raid the fridge. I mean, that, that that's definitely an option. We can just put a thing here that says raid fridge and then uh you raid the fridge and then maybe you get like a fresh water out of it or something miles is fridge room maybe there's like a soda pop in the fridge or something yeah yeah like we we could talk uh but be right back then after watching i'll see you samir thank you so much for checking it out Moomoo Moo milk yeah Moomoo Moo milk would work leftovers i think this is a little too early for leftovers we're still like this is the fourth gym i think leftovers is a bit too early i think leftovers is like a seventh gym kind of thing yeah y'all if you haven't liked the stream yet and you're having fun here enjoying what we're making today um uh, make sure you like the stream going out in the kitchen's a great idea honestly we go out in the kitchen but if you come back and there's leftovers yeah or that could work there's a ton of good places that leftovers could be, though, so I'm sure we'll find a better one later on, you know? So we go down in that vent, we come out in the kitchen. And then maybe this is where we can battle some chefs instead of military grunts. Just to kind of vary it around, we'll battle chefs instead. And we have a lot of food mons, so... Um, some chef battles would honestly be pretty cool. So let me just grab a trainer. And then right off the rip... Uh, there can be a chef guy here. Where's the chef? I might not even have a chef. Wait, no, 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 I do. It's just an NPC. Yeah, this guy right here. Bada bam, we have a chef right here. Just like that. And then, um... We can put, uh, we can put one right here that's just kind of walking in circles. That could work. So let me set his move route real quick. Custom, highest frequency and his move route, you'll just move right, 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 down, left, 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 up, right, right. Beautiful. So that'll be his like little movement pattern that he does here. And then we can just have some uh, chef NPCs that you don't battle, but you can talk to if you want to, I guess. Number nine. So that's the chef is number nine. Got to remember that. Put another one by this trash can here. And then one right here. Cool. We have a couple chefs here. Put Captain Pancakes in the kitchen. Oh, we're going to battle Captain, uh, Captain Pancakes, but I don't think it would be here. I think we're going to do a double. We're going to battle both of the captains. Random garbage that can be easily, easily missable. Wait, what do you mean? Or pawn cakes. Captain pawn cakes. I like to think Miles and Rusia agreed to do that to the prisoners when Miles told Rusia they were going her way. Or the persons the guard put in prison. I don't know what you're talking about, Miles. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying, I'm trying to understand what you're talking about, but I don't think I do. <laughs> For leftovers. Oh, and the garbage. Uh, again, I feel like it's a bit too early for leftovers. Just a little bit. It's a really freaking good item. Especially with just, like, you know, 
trainer battles. It would make battles just a fuck ton easier at this point in the game. I think it's something that could be used to aid really hard fights later on. Not entered saying this. She'd just be disappointed in everyone of, uh, involved. I think that's fine. I don't think uh, Detective Miles cares to disappoint too much. I imagine he'd be decently, ha oh, oh, like, not happy with it, but decently uh, competent. If that makes any sense. Opening one of the fridges takes you to a secret freeze room where you go... Would you go through every Pokemon region's Elite Four with no healing? Leftovers is your reward. That's so funny. <laughs> Make a random pick from a pool of items. Like one person will find a soda pop, other a water, someone else finds a berry. Yes, sugar snaps. That's actually very easy to do. Um, in fact, that's a really good idea, and I like it. Very creative of you. Thank you so much for that. I'm gonna leave a note for myself. Random variable to get random item out of this fridge bada bam just like that and that will remind me to go ahead and code that in there which is it's easy and it's fast but i don't but it's kind of boring just for you guys to watch me to do so I'll, I'll do it off stream for sure but that's a great idea i like that idea it's a little cool thing that we can throw in here you know to make things just a little bit more interesting perfect all right so we got the little chef room figured out. So the upstairs vent is going to take you to the chef room. We Our goal is to go up these stairs. Because up these stairs is going to take us to Rusia, right? Glad to help. No, yeah, hell yeah, shake of snaps. Up these stairs is the goal. So we leave the chef room after battling the, uh, the cooks and bullshit like that. And then this is the cafeteria where all the soldiers are kind of hanging out. And obviously a few of them are probably going to battle the player. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, what are you doing here? Battle me. They're all drunk, you know. <laughs> Born up theme died of Ligma. It died because Streamlabs died. <laughs> Jisumu, I think Rusia would be used to Miles Chaos, but knows uh, how competent he is. So he just lets him do whatever. Right, right. Really just up to Rusia. Okay, so if y'all don't know these names that we're talking about, Miles is obviously the detective uh, of our game. He's also the third gym leader. And then Rusia is the general of our military in our game, which is the... There's only three generals. They're basically the highest up. And um, she's the fourth gym leader. So we obviously... The player got arrested and Miles uh, and Rusia both know that we're good guys, but we're still arrested. So our goal is to get to them. <laughs> Lauren, stop. Miles is the detective that doesn't care about anything when it's not his mission, right? Oh, Lord, Miles is coming. How many times are we going to have to reprimand him this time? Maybe you could add horror aspects. I don't know, just a suggestion. I think we could have an arc with, like, horror stuff. Like, an arc in the game, if that makes any sense. But not just, you know, normally. Alright, we need a couple trainer battles in, these, in this cafeteria here. And I imagine we can't just run this way. We probably have to go through another vent to get to the other side. Why did the chicken cross the road, y'all? Wait, what's a military? <laughs> Guys, why did the chicken cross the road? Hi, Mario Party here. How you doing, bro? How are you doing, my guy? To get to the other side. Chicken butt. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so we're here now to get to the leftovers. That's so funny. <laughs> the chicken crossed the road to get to the leftovers. <laughs> it's hilarious. I don't know how old Rusia is, but I think Miles was detective before she was in Venerica, right? Not sure. Miles is pretty old. Uh, your character. Your character is pretty old. If you all want to be a character in this game, you can. Just look out for votes where you can submit to be characters. Or just hang out and stream. We give away characters sometimes. Two people could be blocking the way, arguing about a food item that they both think is theirs. And then you battle somebody to get to the food item to get past them. 25-26. Could be blocking the way, arguing about a food item that they both think is theirs. And you battle someone to get to the food item to get past them. Um... 
I imagine the fridge just works. We don't have a lot of room in here, so just adding the fridge event where we get random items out of the fridge could work. We don't have a lot of room here. We kind of already filled it all up, if that makes any sense. And there's no really split paths here either. It's kind of just go straight. And if you want to go out of your way to go to the fridge, you can, right? Okay. So. Trainer battles here. Obviously, this is a cafeteria. We got a bunch of grunts hanging out. I'm just going to one of these guys. Help my case here. Got some grunts at the cafeteria. They're all eating. Um, just gonna put them in random spots. Probably leave this open, right? So we gotta go down here. And then over this way. So we'll actually put a real battle right here. So there'll be a battle right here that kind of blocks this way. Go down this way. You can put a battle here. Um, battle. Go over this way. Battle. Put this guy here too. It's a bunch of guys trying to eat right in the cafeteria. Thank, Thank you, you for subscribing. subscribing. And then this one, he can be facing down. So it kind of forces a path, if that makes any sense. A couple battles that you have to go through. Whoever just subscribed, thank you so much. I missed it, unfortunately. Um, go through here, go through here, ah, bah, 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 bah. And then right here. And then I imagine there's just a wall of grunts right here for whatever reason. So we have to go through this vent. And then we go through the vent. And then the vent will take us... To the other side. Or should this be where we battle the captains? Because what I'm thinking is this is Newcastle City, right? What I was thinking, there's three captains under the military. I need some sleep. See you, Jerry Ann. Have a good sleep. Hi, Snail. How you doing? There's three captains in the military, right? I was thinking uh, their like offices could be here. in uh, these two buildings, uh, my mouse is hovering over them. These kind of pillar buildings right here. So what if the vent um, takes you to one of their offices, if that makes any sense? And then it'll take you to their office, you battle him, and then Amaya kind of explains the situation. And then he'll be like, well, if you guys are really trying to get there, um, I can give Rusio a call and tell, you, and tell her that you're on your way. Um, but then at that point, if you would to get on the captain's good side, wouldn't he just take you there? Or what if he's busy or something? Like, he's busy. He's like, yeah, oh, you guys are on your own. I'm busy. Uh, I'm doing some work on this, whatever. And then he's like, but if you want, you can take the event to go to the other captain's lab. Then you're going to have to battle him, explain it to him. And then from there, you can go up the stairs, arrive in uh, right here, go out one of these doors. You go out the door, while the wham, it takes you outside right here. You go up into this door, and then it takes you all the way to Rusia's office, which is where our goal is. To get to yo what's up Chez and quackers how you doing bro i think the captain knows they're on their way and says why are you escaping through the vents we were awaiting you or that that could be a funny thing too <laughs> so which way should it be should we battle the captains by going into a vent that leads us to their offices or should we battle the captains like um right here for example like uh like right here what if they're both up here just kind of guarding uh rusia's door and it's like hey we are expecting you you want me to put up a pole No, Snail, we're not that type of fan game. We're not a future hungry fan game. We're not over here adding Mega Evolutions every single Pokemon. We're making like a new Gen 3 game, if that makes any sense. A new GBA or uh, DS game. Maybe Miles told the captains and not Rusia to mess with her, so, may uh, so they assume she also knows. 
Oh, just the captains. Like, hey, you might have a few kids running around here. Just let them through. Beat them up if you want. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, that'd be funny. Who's the champion? We don't have a champion yet. Uh, we will eventually open up a champion thing, and one of you guys can have the chance to become the champion at some point uh, while we're making this game. We started this seven months ago, and we're already about to be at the fourth gym. So with that being said, we should be, like, done with this game and I'd say, about a year. It'll probably be done. And we'll be doing this every week, of course. We'll be uh, making the game with you guys every week, so... It's awesome. We're gonna have a great time and a bunch of stuff. I also hate how my hair is looking right now. It's just kind of my calyx in the way, so that's why it's looking like that. There could be a flashback to that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Noonstar. As Rushia would shut this situation down quick, but if the captains are on and assuming Rushia already knows, the more chaotic, eventful nature would make sense. That is funny. We decide via Pokemon tournaments since they don't affect the story very much. Um, we don't, I don't think we're going to have an Elite Four. I think we're going to go the Sword and Shield route and kind of have like a big old tournament, if that makes any sense. Like, um, you know, like the, like, as if it were an actual sport, right? I think that'd be like, uh, I, I think that's like the move. In fact, I don't really think becoming the champion actually matters in our game. The champion is not the president. The champion is a lot more of like, um, a sport, right? So we become a good fighter. I don't think beating the game involves becoming the champion. Beating the game is completing the story. And then after that, it's like, okay, you have the option to become the champion, right? And if you do become the champion, because you won all eight badges, while the wham, you can go, uh, the, like, you get a bunch more unlocked stuff, right? So there'll kind of be two post games. Post, um, story, and then post, um, our game is story prior to the league, right? The league is like an after thing, is what we've planned so far. So we kind of have two post games. The the Pokemon League is the post game, and then you have a post game after that, right? I'm gonna put up a poll uh, for how we should battle these captains. Um, in that case, I'm gonna have to make an office for them, which is fine. I can do that uh, very fast, actually. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this map right here. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it, and then I need to rid it rid of all the events in the map. And then rid of all of this as well. I don't need any of this. Bam. Just like that. And then our captain offices can look a lot like Rusia's, if that makes any sense. We'll change it up, of course. But they can look similar to Rusia's. So this can be the one on the right. This can be the one on the left. One of these is going to be Captain Pondcakes. The other one's going to be the captain that we have not decided yet. Um. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do, y'all. I do want to decide this now. I don't want to wait until Streamlabs is fixed. So, the, the, here's here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to put up a wheel. Uh, spin the wheel. And whoever types O in the chat, when I say so. So, if you type it in now, it won't count. So, wait a minute. We'll enter into the giveaway. To become a captain inside of this game and i will enter your name into the wheel but before i do that before i do that i'm gonna send out stream one more time i'll be like captain giveaway starting now so give me just a second because i want to make sure everybody kind of gets in here uh captain military captain giveaway starting now bam just wanted to make sure that everybody knows uh, that isn't here right now. Character giveaway. So yeah, if you guys want to control a character inside of this game and be a character, um, we're going to give that away right now for a military captain inside of her game, alongside Rusia, of course. Um, should I send it out on a stream ping? give away starting i'm gonna do both because this is important to a lot of people so i don't mind peeing in a bunch of people multiple times there was a stream when i got the giveaway ping oh smart cat we know why you're here you're not here for stream you're here for the giveaway okay starting in 
five, four, three, two, one. Say O in chat, and I will enter you into this wheel to become a captain inside of our game. Starting now. So we got Noonstar as one option. Holy shit, this is going to be a lot to type. Stormbreaker is another option. Dragona. Um, Miles, you cannot enter. You're already a character. Chez and Quackers. Harry TDK. Lens. Suga. Samir. Suge. Toasty. Toasty, I don't know why you're answering. Don't you want to be a military general? Jess. Gazer, you're already a captain. Caleb. Shadow Gaming. Jerry Ann, you're already a Team Light. <laughs> you're a Team Light, uh. <laughs> you're a Team Light admin, Jerry Ann. Shroom. Todd the Toad. Who else? Shisumo, you can't enter either. Smart Cat. Guys, why did you say why did you say this the same thing so many times? Uh AM or uh IMA? IMA, I think? Yeah, IMA. And then fake account junior. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> you're entered. Main industry is another one. Main industry. You guys spammed Oh, I'm trying <laughs> Robo Muffin. Robo Muffin. Did I miss anybody? Why did you spam it? <laughs> it makes it harder for me. <laughs> Alright, Weepy Mice. Weepy Mice. So, Koozie. Koozie's another one. Did I miss anybody? Hiksudo. I didn't do you, Hiksudo. Did I miss anybody? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Xudo. I'm watching chat. I'm watching chat. Did I miss anybody? Main industry. I have you in here, main. I have you in here. I, I added Suge. I did add Suge. Uh, I think I added Snail. Pretty sure I added you, Snail. Snail, did I add you? I did. You're right here. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, that's a wheel full of a lot of names. Oh, uh, I, I allow that Shisumu for um for when we do Streamlabs, but I'm not going to do it now just because I don't feel like typing in all the names. Do I spin the wheel now? Is it time? Is it time? If I win, I give it to Caleb. All right. Three. Two. One. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Harry TDK, what is up, my guy? You're a captain in the military now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Harry TDK, um, DM me on Discord with anything to do with your character. Say, like, anything that you want uh, with your character. Uh, a anything you want him to look like. What his name's going to look like. Um, and everything like that. Congratulations. Let's go. Let's go, Harry TDK. You're a captain in the military now. Not super relevant in the story, but still relevant, right? Okay. So. With that being said. Harry TDK's captain is going to be in one of these offices. I don't think I'm really going to design the office too much. I'll kind of do that off stream. I'm just kind of going to keep the same design as Rusius for now. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the decoration, so I'll be able to add decoration later. But for now... I'm just going to keep the office very similar to um, how Rusius is. And then we're going to go through Captain Pawncakes first. Where's Pawncakes? There you are. Captain Pawncakes. And then the other captain will be on the other side. It's not Gazer, but I'm going to put Gazer there for now just as a placeholder because this is obviously going to be Harry TDK right here. Captains are below light admins, aren't they? Yes, Shisumu. Um, it's, the hierarchy is a little weird when it comes to that. So, the generals are higher than the light admins. Um, captains are lower than the light admins. But, um, 
the vice president isn't on the same level as Renalock, if that makes any sense. The generals are closer to Renalock than the light admins are to Ren uh, to the generals. Only six more chances to be captain. Now, yeah, we're only giving away six more captains. There's only nine of them when you play in the leap. So we got these three guys here. Um, I need to put a wall here. Hold on. Wall right here. I need the correct wall here. Bam. 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 Because we need a vent here. A vent inside the captain office. And both of them, actually. Because this is where we're going to enter. And that's where Pond Kicks is going to be like, Yo, what the fuck you doing here, bro? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait, never mind. Because Pond Kicks is going to be like, Hey, yo! <laughs> Nine captains feels like a lot. How about seven? Is that means a total of... Wait, what? We have three generals. Three generals and uh, nine captains. Each general rules over three captains. And Shisumu, since the captains kind of play a small role, it won't be that big of a deal. What will Thomas be? A grunt, an admin, or something else? Thomas is going to be an admin, of course. Uh, the fourth admin of Team Light. There's three as of now, but he's going to end up being um, uh, the fourth, right? Does anyone have Pokemon Scarlet or Violet? Just wondering. I do, but my Switch is broke. <laughs> which is a lot of fun. So we're going to go in through this vent. We have to go in through, uh, go out through that vent. And then it'll send us in um, over here. And then uh, the Captain Harry TDK, who's the winner, is going to be like, yeah, you can just go out that door, get to the stairs. Don't use the vent here. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of the vent, in fact. Get rid of it all together. And then that vent will take us here. Where we can go up these stairs. We go up the stairs. We arrive here. And from here we can go out this door right here that we couldn't access before. That door is going to take us outside. Right here. We walk over. We walk up. And we go inside of this door. Walla wham. And that's where we find Rusio. So I'm going to skip everything in the middle because it's going to be very boring to develop on stream. Kind of all the uh, everything in the middle. I will do the battles though. Because um, I know you guys want to become trainers and stuff like that. So I'll give all of you guys an opportunity to become a military grunt. Or make a military grunt if you don't want to become that. But first, before we do that, I'm going to do the Rusio event after we walk into the office. So we walk into the office, right? Rusio is right here. Let me find her. Bam. Rusia. Right here. For a game like this, it's a decent bit. Sort of requires the captains being just forgettable nothing characters. I don't think the captains are going to be necessarily forgettable nothing characters. I feel like they're going to have personalities. Like, um, if they have cool personalities, they'll be memorable, even if there's a lot of them. Rusio, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, should Miles be in here? Or are we gonna confront Rusia alone? Should Miles already be in here to be like, Hey, yo, what's good? Wait, no, what if Captain Gazer's in here? Because Gazer can vouch for us. And he's a captain for this military. That would make sense, actually. Because we battled the two other captains and then Gazer being here works. Because Gazer has already been introduced earlier in the game. Obviously, he got introduced on Route 12 right here, and he knows that the player's good. No vaping on stream, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just to make sure, because I'm new and stuff, we submit Fakemons and then on stream you take them and make chat vote whether they should be added or not, correct? Yes, Jess, that is exactly how it works. Is there smoke coming out of your nose? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no vaping, guys, do not vape. Vaping is very bad. Alright, so we walk in, Gazer's right here, right? G 
Gazer, where you at? There you are. Gazer's right here. I'll tweak Rusia's dialogue here as well. All right, perfect, perfect. Um, guys, should Rival Thomas be here or should he have escaped at some point? Where's my bananas tasting? <laughs> Unfortunately, Streamlabs is not working. I wonder what that smoke was. I say he should have escaped. Escaped, definitely. So he's not here. It's only us and Amaya that kind of comes here. Thomas escaped, not needing her permission to leave, right? Alright, so Thomas is just gonna escape like a bad guy. Gone three months of membership purely due to gifts. I know, Dragona. It's because you're here a lot. Um, You get gifted. You're more likely to get a gifted membership if you're here a lot. Oh, you only need 10 more bananas to challenge me to showdown? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. Let me make the auto run event. Um, it's not going to be an auto run event. Fuck. How would it work? Okay, yeah. I No, no. I can make it work, actually. Because um, it'll be auto run if a certain switch is on. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, uh, we'll just... We made it to Russia. It's just gonna be what the event is called. We made it to Rusia. Action button, uh, auto run. Go auto run. Let me give a name to Gazer here. And let me give a name to Rusia as well. And then I need an event for Amaya to show up as well. So, I'm just gonna name her Rival 4. Not before that. Ri uh, she's obviously gonna show up and be facing up. Clear. She's only going to appear if we made it to Russia is on. She's going to be over here. So made it to Russia is on. We need to set a move route for the player to move up, of course. And then um, Ru uh, Amaya is going to appear. To turn up right here. She's facing up. And it needs to play... A sound effect that means that she walked through the door door exit that door right there when she appears here and then this is where the event is gonna start we're gonna wait 10 frames and then we're gonna show an animation above a uh, gazer it'll be an exclaim bubble wait five frames and then gazer is gonna turn down wait another five frames and then Gazer is going to be like, whoa. All right, Gazer, you're the controller of this character. Any ideas for what he should say when the player and Amaya just show up in the office? Like Amaya's named. Wait, wait, Amaya's named. Here come that grill. What? Oh, like the event. Okay, I got you. I got you. Not like the, the thing's going to see it. Here come, here come dat grill. <laughs> okay, that's what the event's gonna be called. Isn't the player older than you, Captain? That's true. Gazer's 14 and the player's 17, which is funny. <laughs> it's honestly funny. Whoa! So, we walk in, Gage's like, whoa! Wait, aren't you... Aren't you player name? How did you get here? Whoa! Aren't you... Wait, aren't you slash player name? How did you get here? It's a different world suits the game. Gazer's a great battler, and he earned his higher ranking. Pikachu or Eevee is definitely in the game. Pikachu is, yes. Eevee's not. Based, Rusia's recruiting miners. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different world. This is not the real world. This is a fictional world, y'all. Whoa, wait, aren't you uh, player name? How did you get here? 
And then this is where Rusia is going to interrupt and say, all right, what should Rusia say? Just like, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, 14's experience. 14, you got three years of experience on you. Gazer's crazy. <laughs> Is this game going to be on an emulator ROM or an EXE file? Both. Uh, it's an EXE file, so it's made through RPG Maker. It's not a ROM hack, but it's very close to a ROM hack. Snail, we will have a public release at some point, possibly after the fourth gym. But if you want to play demos, uh, we give out demos to members and also people who help sprite for the game, make the game, and stuff like that um like sprite for the game make music for the game and sometimes i'll just give it away for free just to be nice but if you're a member on the channel or if you have sprited for the game or made a game or like made music then you get access to the demos a lot of people here have played uh the demo during like the four day uh four day period where i wasn't a member that's so funny dragona <laughs> and then became member again so funny but yeah, you don't have to become a member to get access to the game. But if you are a member, you will get access to the game. Gazer, how did you get here? Risi is going to say, excuse me, what should she say next? Two random kids just showed up in her office. How? What's her reaction? <laughs> what is her reaction to this? <laughs> Castles is the goat. He is the grandfather of Venerica. He's the father of Venerica, actually. Because he's George Washington in our game. He's literally the George Washington of our game. Amaya is not 14 years old. I imagine Ma Amaya is actually 18. Probably older than the player. What a pain. That's actually a good text line. Miles isn't here. What, uh, so, sh sh what a pain. I've been getting calls about escapists. I've been getting calls about escapists, but that's not my concern right now. Sh what a pain. I've been getting calls about escapists, but that's not my concern right now. What do you guys want? What is Rissia's personality like, though? She's not evil, but she acts evil. That's, like, the best way to explain it. Yeah, I think I did, Dragona. But Miles isn't here right now. It's just, uh, it's just Gazer. Miles left. <laughs> Broad places to be besides, uh, <laughs> he had places to be. <laughs> he wasn't worried about it. Such a pro gamer strat to make the female rival a consenting adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, Stormbreaker. Gotta bring Kalei back to uh back to Lazulite. She is in Lazulite, Cyan. She is. Cyan, I'll actually explain to you exactly how it all goes. Uh so we got a ton of people in here who didn't see the beginning of stream, so I'll show you guys again. She's the type of person other people would consider a huge pain once they meet her. Like, you look up to her, then your image of her is shattered upon meeting her, right? What happened? I'm confuzzled. I'll show you, Cyan. Your character did make an appearance. <laughs> God, I'm sweating. It's hot in here, y'all. Alright. I'm about to show y'all the event that, uh, that leads up to what we're doing now. So we go in here in New Castles. Hey, Cancer. I was just poking around different places in the city. What have you been up to? Lady gets a call. Oh, is something happening? Ronald, there's a public announcement. Get Rissi on the line. On it, Jessica. A broadcast? What could that be about? It doesn't happen often, but we have a public announcement from General Rissia. It's going to be heard across the entire region of Benerica. Wow, it must be something serious. Do you think it has anything to do with the Team Light guys? And then click dot 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 dot. Attention, citizens of our great region. This is an announcement from I, head of Benerican Domestic Affairs and general of our military lectern branch, Rusia Grimvane. And then watch this. It's gonna go to display how it's being viewed across the entire region or heard. It's gonna slowly go to each city in the region and kind of show the characters that we've met throughout the game reacting to. 
Recently, a group of Mongolian extremists that go by the name Team Light have begun to take action in the region, spreading chaos. While we are not yet sure of their goals, they are without a doubt dangerous force that warrants caution. And then, down to Bongwei Town, this is the starting town, that's Professor Jumpscare right in the middle. Then, uh, the Benarium Factory. As a Bongolian group, their uniforms consist of mostly bright yellow, so in regards to matters of identification, I have three messages. Firstly, to avoid confusion and misunderstandings, it would be best to dress yourself in a way that avoids putting the color yellow on display. Secondly, while not everyone who wears a large amount of yellow is a criminal, it is enough to warrant concern and caution. We should not go on a witch hunt to ostracize our brothers and sisters. And then here we go, my- <laughs> However, it would be best to keep an eye out. Maybe keep a few steps back on the street. What color shirt are you wearing right now? A yellow shirt? Because I'm Bongolian. We're all- we're- we're all Bongolians here. We're not Venericans, y'all! We're Bongolians! Everybody in here! Bongolians! Now, thirdly, if you spot anybody who may look to be a part of Team Light acting out and making a ruckus, please inform any nearby stationed officers so we can question those in mention. I apologize for interrupting the currently scheduled broadcast with this urgent message. Farewell and best witches. This was Rusio Grimvane, and this emergency broadcast is now concluded. Mwahaha! <laughs> And then it ends. It's like that. So it was about Team Light. This really can't be good then. And then we're free, you know. But we go out the door and then... Oh no. We got a call of a suspicious character that could possibly be a part of Team Light. Are you him? And then we have the option to say, yes, I'm him. <laughs> You'll be coming with me. And then we battle, but I'm gonna skip it. After winning. You do understand that battling a military officer after a confrontation is considered probable cause, right? So you'd be coming with us. And then Amaya comes out. Ma'am, are you with him? Uh, yeah, he's my friend. Then you'll be coming with us as well. Okay, where are we going? And then we get sent to jail. <laughs> you got us arrested? What did you even do? What were you thinking dragging me along into this? Don't tell me. Are you- are you a part of Team Light? You- you- ah! Don't talk to me. I don't even want to look at you right now. And then Miles comes in and he's like... <laughs> he just walks out. Detective Miles knows, uh, the player and Amaya very well. Because the player and Amaya challenged the gym together. Declan's voice echoes through your head. Yeah, I saw that one coming. <laughs> How in the world did you scallywags end up here? <laughs> are you stupid? Detective Miles, please get us out of here. I don't know what happened, but Kinter drags me into this. I can vouch for you both, but I need to use the restroom first. It'll take a few days. A few days? Haha! <laughs> It'll probably be a few days before Rusia will even get around to you two. Unless you want to spend a few nights together, you can try getting to Rusia yourself. And then he throws a key over to the player. Haha! <laughs> I recommend not leaving through this door. It's heavily guarded on the outside. Think back to when you both fought my gym. Don't you even think about escaping. It's a bad idea. You've already made me mad enough. But well, fuck you, I'm escaping the hell. It worked. Bam. Are you serious, Kinter? I can't believe it. You really aren't the person I thought you were. Fuck you, Amaya. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here, the hell. <laughs> and then we go here, of course, and then... Kinter! You came to visit me? How did you even know I got arrested? And then Amaya tries to come through, but she stops for some reason. We didn't come to visit anyone. This imbecile got us arrested. Ha! What a nerd. Didn't you get arrested too? Matter of fact, who are you? Well, I'm the greatest trainer from Bongoy Town, of course. Kenser knows that. We both left Bongoy Town to go on our journey at the same time. What a coincidence that we all would end up here. What did you even do to get arrested? I blame the yellow guys in the cell next to me. Oi, pipe down, says the, the yellow guy. <laughs> Come to think of it, Kenser. What's that key you got there? Can you get me out of here? And then we have the option to get him out. It worked. And then he tries to walk through, but it doesn't work and it freezes because I forgot to add a through command. But yeah, that's how it works. That's everything we made regarding this event so far. And there's obviously more to come. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Um, I need to put a through command on him. Through on, yes, thank you very much.
And then for some reason, Amaya fails to walk all the way over, and I'm not really sure why. Uh... Maybe it's because that's the wrong event? Amaya 2. Just name it that. So what if I put 3 right here? That might make it work. Yeah, I don't know why she doesn't actually walk all the way over there. That, that wouldn't make sense. Because even if she got stopped, it it should have, um... Oh, that's probably why. Okay, that should work. So, 3-1. And then... That's supposed to be here. I also need her to turn up right here. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Why it too needs to turn up. Bam. Okay. Now it should work. The way it's intended to. Maybe do it for this one too. Alright, cool. Um. Aha. She stopped okay that one event, didn't she? Yeah. She stopped right here. No, no, this is her. This is her, so. See, she turns on like that. Alright, we need to finish this section right here. So. We walk into the office. Whoa, wait, aren't you slash player name? How did you get here? Excuse me, what a pain. I've been getting calls about escapists, but that's not my concern right now. What do you guys want? And then Amaya. Um, Amaya needs to walk up. Just set move route. Or here come that grill to move left. Left, up once, and then twice. Actually, it'll just be left, one, two, three. One, two, three. She'll go all the way up to the desk. And then I'll set a move wrap for the player to do the same thing. Right. And then up, up. I'm gonna put this here, though. And then what should Amaya say? Like, ma'am, we were unlawfully arrested. Oh, it's a bet, Cliffs. I'll check it out after stream. We need someone to sprite a portrait of me for all the generals to own. Honestly, honestly, castles. Uh, we can either do just like a tiny little sprite and then we can talk to it and it'll say it's a portrait of uh, castles. Or we can do a thing where when you talk to it, it'll pull up the big picture of it. That'd be so funny. <laughs> You don't understand the player was wearing yellow when the announcement was announced, right? So what do you guys want Amaya should be like? Would it be, uh, Ma'am Rusia? Ma'am Rusia, we... We were unlawfully arrested. Wait, no. Amaya doesn't know, like, uh, Amaya's kind of been sheltered her whole life. What if she says Sir Rusia? <laughs> Sir Rusia, we were unlawfully arrested, and then Rusia can butt in and be like, that's ma'am to you. <laughs> Sir Rusia, we were unlawfully arrested. <laughs> Good idea or bad idea? Good or bad idea? Pretty clearly a woman, though. Sir can be used, can it? And you have the option to interject and say it was lawful. Um, it really wouldn't be lawful. Sir is used for both. So Sir Rusia works then. Sir Rusia, we were unlawfully arrested. We were unlawfully arrested. Detective 
Miles said that he could vouch for us. We were unlawfully arrested. Detective Miles said that he could vouch for us. And then Rusia is just going to say something along the lines of, well, Detective Miles isn't here right now. So you're going to have to wait. Well, Detective Miles isn't here right now, so you're going to have to wait. Um, I'm calling to... I'll call security to... Um, or I'm just... I'm calling. I'm calling security to escort you both back to your... Back to your rooms. Oh, that's- that's what she would say, you think? But I figured Gazer could be here to vouch, uh, Rusia. I figured, um, Gazer could be here to vouch. Right? Cause Gazer would be here and be like, No, I know- I, I know the player. He actually helped us against Team Light, um, back on Route 12. And then that's when Rusia's gonna be like, Oh, so you're him. Well, in that case, you're good. Right? Because Rusia doesn't know. I mean, I guess it's, like, kind of badass that it's, like, you know, it, it's kind of badass in the sense, like, oh, I can tell you guys are innocent just by looking at you. Oh, Gazer would vouch beforehand. Right, okay. Alright, in that case, we'll do it that way. So Gazer can pop in and be, like... I want a side quest for a shiny Bidoof. If you want Bidoof in the game, um, you can submit it to the vote and just see if it wins. <laughs> or you can just kind of tune into streams while Wario. Uh, you can just tune into streams, you know? And then during, like, whatever, uh, like, if I'm just like, you know what? We should probably add another Game Freak Pokemon, like, in this area. Um, you can throw up Bidoof as an option if it would make a sense. She would have a good eye for people. Right, that would make sense. So, Gazer's gonna pop in. And he's going to say, uh, Gazer's going to pop in and, and be like, I can vouch for them as, I can vouch for them as well. I can vouch for them as well. Player helped us during our confrontation with Team Light back on Route 12. He's a good, he's a good kid, despite being dripped out, dripped out with yellow, he's not one of the bad guys. <laughs> How much progress have you made and what software do you use? I use RPG Maker XP. Um... Uh, RPG Maker XP, and we are about to finish the fourth gym. I'll tweak your dialogue after this anyway, so it doesn't need to be perfect now. Yeah, no worries. Uh, no worries, Shisuma. I got you. When we, we vote for gym four, we've already voted for gym four. Do you mean gym five? We vote for the fifth gym leader and fifth gym Fakemon after we finish the fourth gym. Confrontation with Team Light back on Route 12. He's a good kid, despite being dripped out with yellow. He is... He's not one of the bad guys. And then that's when, um... That's when is gonna say, no need for that. No need for that. I could tell... I could tell that these brats... I could tell that these brats were... Okay, as soon as they walked in. No need for that. I could tell that these brats were okay as soon as they walked in. And so, fifth gym vote. Gazer, it'll probably be before May 18th because I kind of have a deadline. I need like one month to get the demo of the fourth gym out so Mystic Umbreon can play it. For any of you guys who know Mystic Umbreon, he is a. Uh, 
he is going to make a video about our game, which is going to be awesome. He's an OG tuber. I used to watch him when I was a kid, which is kind of cool. So we have a pretty uh, a pretty clear date of when we need the fourth gym done because I need to give him the demo within by May 18th so we can make the video about our game. Probably sooner than that, in fact, because he uh, I think that's the date he actually wants to put the video out, not to start working on the video. So we might actually get the fourth gym done within like 20 days. I'd say 20 days is probably like a a, a good thing for that. May 7th. No, it'd be May uh, 18th, actually. Eight, 18th is when he said he wants to put the video out. That's hype? Yeah, it is hype. We're going to get a lot of new people in here. It's going to be awesome. Um, I'm, also, uh, I'm really really happy that he decided to respond on my email. Um, looking forward to working with him. I hate how my hair looks, bro. I never look this fucking shitty. <laughs> it's okay. I'm having fun, though. This is a really good stream, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I got really upset after last stream, like... I guess it might have just been because it was a Tuesday, and that's why not a lot of people were here, but um, I'm really happy that you guys are hanging out with me uh, today, even now, even with Streamlabs broken. Honestly, I appreciate it more than anything. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much, Nasty Chaos, for the few donos at the beginning of stream. Uh, I know he's not here right now, but still, thank you to him. He's a good kid, despite being dripped out with yellow. No need for that. I can tell that these brats were okay as soon as they walked in. All right, where do we go from here, though? You look just fine, brother. Sugar snaps. Look at any of my other streams. I look great, bro. I'm 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 not even trying to be like <laughs> I'm not even trying to be like uh what's it called? Um full of myself, but genuinely, I am hot as shit in my other streams cuz my hair is actually looks fine. <laughs> I had to leave yesterday's stream early because I can't. No, no worries, Stormbreaker. I'm not worried about it. You're hanging out with me here today, and that's all that matters to me. I just kind of got upset yesterday uh cuz we only had like 13 people. Oh, my God, tasty. Honestly, honestly, I'm being dead ass with y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We like to do some stuff other than CMG in here, such as hang out, talk, and have fun. I am hot as shit. I need to move my fan over. Um, uh, let's see if I can get it looking right. This is kind of what I do to make it look better. No, no, I would need to, like, rewash it to make... Now I just got a breadhead. <laughs> I just got a breadhead now. <laughs> It's funny. Nothing certain in life except death, taxes, and occasional cow licks. That's so funny. I actually don't have any cow licks. I've never been licked by a cow before. I've always wanted to live on a farm, though. Um, guys, I am moving. Um, May, May 1st, I'm moving. Um, I'm getting kicked out of my house for being eight. <laughs> so no more background like this, guys. This background's gonna be moved and it'll be somewhere else. Um, we're gonna have a whole background change. Uh, for all the new people here, we have a fun little, uh, little profile with me right here. <laughs> it's so funny. I made this during stream once when my camera broke, and the only thing that I could do was draw a picture of myself so I could become a VTuber. So that's what I did. I became a VTuber, and now look at that. <laughs> but... I have better profiles now. I have better, uh, because Dekachad went and drew something else for me. Um, I can actually pull it up right now. Uh, give me just a second. Um, I'm gonna open an image. I'm gonna call it Image 3, because who gives a fuck? <laughs> Aren't you a PNG tuber, though? Yeah, basically. I'm like a, a PNG tuber. Browse files. Come on. Oh, no, that's not good. Is OBS about to crash? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Uh, let me pull up my, the new one that Dekachad made for me that's, like, really good. It's really funny. Lino also made one, but Dekachad's just funnier. Lino made Lino made Sigma, and then Dekachad, who's not here right now, made uh, the Chad version of me. So I got a Chad version of me and a Sigma version. I just need to find them. Where is it at? Here it is. All right. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> Look, it's me. Um, the let me find here. The, the, the hats, I, I got a custom Tasty hat, because my name's Tasty, of course. It, it's backwards, so T-A, money sign, T-Y. It's a custom New Era, uh, it's not a 5950, it's just a 950. Um, and, and that's why that hat's there, because this is my, uh, my custom Tasty hat. <laughs> um, how do I flip this? There should be an option to flip this image. Flip horizontally, there we go, there we go. 
I'm obviously not wearing uh, the, the black t-shirt that I usually wear, but uh, give me just a second. Uh, I'll, I'll have the whole fit going. Bada bam. Backwards hat. Black headphones. <laughs> Bada bam. You can't even tell a difference, man. I got the same jaw. <laughs> the muscles come naturally to the hat. Hey, 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 I got, I got muckles. I got muckles. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> you have a small ass jaw? The fuck I do? I'm chat as shit. What are you talking about, y'all? That's a line right there. That is a line right there. I'm chat as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching on the Samsung smart fridge. That's so funny. I got a huge jawline. What do you mean? Especially if I keep my tongue and I like swallow. <laughs> I'm mocking you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I, I'll, I'll do one. I'll do you one better. There's a yellow hue over my face right now. So if I, if I actually turn it to the same color, see. I'm like the exact same person as the guy in the corner. <laughs> and then I'll pull up the Sigma one too, because the Sigma one's funny. The Sigma one's like basically the same shit though. Um, I'll pull up the Sigma. I gotta get rid of this one to do that. Drawing is stronger than Mike Tyson? I have never mewed before in my life. In fact, the first time I ever tried to mew is actually on stream, like a week and a half ago. Stream is not over. I'm just having fun right now. We still have like an hour left of stream. Stream is not over, guys. Um, let me find the Sigma version of me. Because that's me mewing. Um, but the very first time that I ever mewed was on stream. Like, like a week or two ago. It was really funny. I'll do it again for you guys, because I know you guys are fucking weird. <laughs> Where is it? I can't find it, bro. Hold on. Right, search it. Here it is, here it is. Alright, this one's better. <laughs> well, I, I need to flip it. It's not better, actually, I kind of like them both equally. <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny, bro. I can, like, fit my face in there. Like, my- Hold on, there's no headphones on this one, so I gotta- I gotta rave. There's no headphones in this one. And then the hat isn't like going exactly over. It's like kind of sitting on top. So I got to kind of pull it up a little bit. Just like this. I kind of push it up a little bit. And then I have to mew. And I've never... <laughs> I've only ever mewed once. So you guys got to like let me like figure out how to mew <laughs> again. Because I forget how. You got to like... uh obviously you like push this shit in right because even in the picture right there it's it's in <laughs> that's just a picture of you tasty i know it's not a drawing it, it it's actually just a picture of me and then it got put through that cartoon filter thing and then <laughs> that's how it showed up <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i'm about to do this right now i <laughs> i cannot believe i'm about to do this hold on i'm gonna laugh trying you gotta like, you gotta like put, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I can't do it without laughing, I cannot do it without laughing, <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me like do it under the table and then just pop up, no, no, that won't work either, I'll laugh the second I pop up, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> I can't do it. There's no possible fucking way I could do this right now. <laughs> do it, no balls. Who knows that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't do it, bro. He's about to mute me. I can't. We're done. We're done. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I did it. Y'all got like three frames of that. You guys got three frames of me doing that. You're not getting any more. <laughs> Do it and I'll sub. 
Wait, whoa, Rory, you're not subbed yet? Okay, I gotta do it for a sub, y'all. I gotta do it for a sub. A full stream of me mewing. The entire time, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> you better sub, Wario. I did that just for you. <laughs> I don't even think I did it right. You... <laughs> Alright, we're done. We're done. We're done. I'm not doing this anymore. That's it. That's it, y'all. We're done mewing. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Toasty t asked me to show this on stream, so I'll do it. Toasty, what do you what do you want me to show? Oh, he he drew this. <laughs> he drew that of me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, guys, pack up. Streams over. Stream is not over. What the hell are you guys talking about? Stream is not over. We still have more to do. Um, and I want to move on to funner stuff too. Other than this, <laughs> shake a snap. That incredible. <laughs> All right, no need for that. I could tell that these brats were okay as soon as they walked in. What should be said after that? Amaya should be like, "Thank you so much, Rusia." Or Amaya would be like, "So, uh, uh, or, so does that mean we're free to go? Does that mean we're free to go?" And then Rusia will pop in and be like, "Um, yes, you guys may, y you guys may." Leave. I'll have. Yes, you guys may leave. I'll have Gazer escort you out. I'll have Gazer escort you two out. Yes, you guys may leave. I'll have Gazer escort you two out. Numerian is so powerful. Lag stream. Did that actually happen? <laughs> I'm gonna use this stream for Goon Max in like. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Proceed. So does that mean we're free to go? Yes, you guys may leave. I'll have Gazer escort you out. But first... But first... Let's... Let's have a chat. But first, let's have a chat. We're about to get some fucking Banerica lore, y'all. This is gonna be a lore dump right here. We're getting some Banerica lore. I'm Copedging right now. For the people who don't understand that, we have a Pokemon called Copedge, which is a regional uh, variant of Hone Edge. I'll show it on screen. Give me just a second. Uh, where's it at? No, I scrolled way too far up. Uh, these are all of our Fakemon that you guys see on screen right now, by the way. We have a ton of them. So we have Copedge right here. Nurka. <laughs> Started my co bedging streak, bro. What are you on? Are you okay, Stormbreaker? This is co -Bedge. Um, Pokemon in our game. Looks pretty cool. Uh, it has a evolution called Rage Slash. I call him Luffy Slash because his arm looks like Luffy's arm from One Piece. Of course, you guys know what One Piece is. I'll have Gazer escort you two out, but first, let's have a chat. Hmm. Alright, lore dumping time. First, let's have a chat. I'm sure you guys have heard, um, heard enough about the history of New Castles. Actually, we're not gonna go into the huge, the, the, the New Castles yet. First, let's have a chat. What do you two know about Team Light? What do you two know about Team Light? What do you two know about Team Light? I'm aware. I'm aware that you, player, were involved. Send me this entire event through a bunch of screenshots. Yeah, I know Shisumu. <laughs> Does the military like lean? I don't know, Lawrence. I'm aware that you, player, were involved with. The, uh, uh, we're involved or uh, during the incident at the Banarium factory. I'm 
I'm aware that you slash pl uh, player name were involved during the incident at the Venarium Factory. That they are a worse team than Team Paid Product. <laughs> team Lean? Bro, what are you guys on about drugs? <laughs> We're involved during the incident at the Benarium factory. So... I'm sure that you know that Team Light is after... Benarium for... Some unknown reason. I'm sure that you know that Team Light is after Benarium for some unknown reason. And then Amaya's gonna jump in. Amaya's gotta jump in and be like... <clears throat> Rusia would probably call the captains in to battle them to test them before they go. Uh, Shisumu, we battle the uh, captains on our way here, actually. What is Benarium? Benarium's a uh, metal in our game. It's not really a metal, it's just a material in our game. It's infused with the Legendary's power because the Legendary stopped a Meteor from hitting Benarica and then it fled somewhere. And then now it's a Legend because nobody knows whether it exists or not. We have a whole lore thing going on, Wario. Uh, if you want to know more about it, join the Discord and there's a whole CMG story section that kind of just tells you all the lore. No, we never decided against that. We're all involved during the Infinite um, at the Benarium Factory. I'm sure that you know that Team Light is after Benarium for some unknown reason. And then Amaya's gonna jump in and be like... I've heard of Benarium, Benarium before. Isn't it a mystery metal that came from a meteor? And then Rusia is going to jump in and be like, My girl. My, my girl, you have been sheltered your whole life, haven't you? <laughs> My oh my girl, you've been sheltered. Uh, you've been sheltered from the world, haven't you? Discord link, uh, Wall Wario. Somebody mind sending the Discord because apparently the one in the description doesn't work for some fucking reason that I don't know why. I know it's based on Gen 3, but is there going to be special physical split or Gen 3 move rules? We're going to have two versions, one with the split, one without it. There you go, Castles is the GOAT, he's got it. Isn't it a mystery metal that came from a meteor? My oh my girl, you've been sheltered from the world, haven't you? Um... Some believe that Benarium can be created while... Others believe that Banarium. So is Rusia gonna hide from the like player? Because obviously the player doesn't know that um, the power of ben of Banaga is infused into Banarium, and that's how you awaken Banaga. Some believe that Banarium can be created. Um, It was a Bongolian legend that... Are there gonna be Fakemon? There is Fakemon, yo, Rift. We've been making this game for a while now. Is that a Luffy profile picture? Is that a Luffy profile picture? I need to know. It's very small, so I can't see it, but it kind of looks like one. I praise anybody in here who has Luffy profile pictures. He was there on Factory Ruins and Renalock speech, so... Rissi would probably try to use the players it's told before going against them once to approve. Once they prove to adamant against them. You've been sheltered from the world, feels wrong. Like, do you, uh, you have so much to learn for some shit? Really don't like the current line. Please, someone back me up on this one. Um, maybe you must have been sheltered. You must have been sheltered. You must have been sheltered your whole life. It would make sense because Rusia is kind of rude. 
My oh my girl, you've been sheltered. You must have been sheltered your whole life. I said to L Luffy. Sorry, right, Jess, I'm gonna fix the dialogue here afterwards anyways. Yeah, fair enough. She soon will come up with better stuff. It was a Bongolian legend that a creature named Banaga. But a creature named Banaga saved the region from a meteor meteor nearly 300 years ago. It was a Bongolian legend that a creature named Banaga saved the region from a meteor nearly 300 years ago. Um... The... The meteor was made out of Bonarium, but the Bongolians believed that Bonarium was a material that was infused with Banaga's power. Unfortunately, there's no evidence that Banaga ever existed. Or there's little evidence that Banaga ever existed. Alright, so... Here's kind of how it goes. But first, let's have a chat. What do you know? To, what, what do you two know about Team Light? I'm aware that you, player, were involved during the incident at the Binarium Factory. I'm sure that you know that Team Light is after... I'm sure you know that Team Light is after Banarium for some unknown reason. And then Amaya jumps in. I've heard of Banarium before. Isn't it a mystery metal that came from a meteor? And then Rusia says, My oh my girl, you must have been sheltered your whole life. It was a Bongolian legend that a creature named Banaga saved the region from a meteor nearly 300 years ago. The meteor was made out of Banarium, but the Bongolians believe that Banarium was a material that was infused with Banaga's power. Unfortunately, there's little evidence that Banaga ever existed. Thus, thus, <clears throat> thus, prop, uh, propaganda regarding Banaga has slowly vanished. You hunch or slowly vanished over the past few hundred years. I don't know about unfortunately, fair enough. I'll get rid of it. There's little evidence that Benaga Edgar is uh, ever existed, thus propaganda regarding Benaga slowly vanished over the past few hundred years. Okay, so a bit of a lore dump. The real question is... The real question is... Why is Team Light after Venerium, right? Is it our job to make sure these rumors stay... Say it's just that rumors. Well, it's a free country, Noonstar, so um it wouldn't really be First of all, thank you for the exposition. What does exposition mean, Sugar Snaps? Um But it's a free country, so the government isn't allowed to have control over propaganda and media. So I don't think Russia would just say that out loud. The real question is, why is Team Light after Benaria? We believe that since... First of all, I think, oh, exposition is Lord Zumpage. That's what it means. <laughs> oh, we, we can have Amaya say that or something. We believe that since Benarium is such a powerful substance, that... Team Light 
might be an organization that is trying to get hold of enough of it to take over. But since they're Mongolian extremists, they might believe that Banaga is indeed truly out there. They might... They might believe that the key to finding it is gathering enough of it. Care about Banaga either way, positive or negative, but she'd be way against anyone gaining its power and using it against Banerica. Well, the vice president is currently, uh, the vice president is currently fooling the shit out of Rusia then, because Rusia knows of its existence already. She does. She's lying to the player right now. Straight up lying to the player. Renalox, due to the factory ruin Renalox Beach, we know they want Banarium not for the material, material but for Banaga. But since they're Bongolian extremists, they might believe that Banaga is indeed truly out there. They might believe that the key to finding it is gathering, gathering to finding, uh, to finding it is gathering enough Banaria. To get a hold of enough of it to take over, but since the Bongolian extremists, they might believe that Banaga is indeed truly out there. They might believe that the key to finding it is gathering enough Banaria. She'd be uh, planning to betray him as well. I have a question. What's up, Morgid? Shisumu, I do gotta say, I do gotta say, Shisumu. I like the idea of Rusia being a badass character that has good tuition and like intuition, just like knows a lot and is one step ahead of everybody. But the vice president is like the most evil character in our game, more evil than Renalock. And I think it would be a good idea to kind of uh, have a point in the game where Rusia isn't just a badass character, right? Where Rusia genuinely gets fooled and gets submissed, right? It would be a really good story arc and it would make character, it would make the the player or the viewer actually care about what's happening. It'd be a good twist, right? And maybe she wouldn't be, and maybe she could like, uh, be still badass about it all, right? Does the Banaga exist? Is it a myth? She is not bad. She is against the corrupt and ruins them from inside out. But from our POV, we don't know that yet, right? We believe that Benarium is such a powerful substance. Uh, that since Benarium is such a powerful substance, Team Light might be an organization that is trying to get a hold of enough of it to take over. Since they're Bongolian extremists, they might believe that Benaga is indeed truly out there. They might believe that the key to finding it is gathering enough Benarium. And then from there... She wouldn't just always be cool and fat because she's strong. It would work against her. She'd take everything into her own hands and fail. She'd end up pathetic in the end despite all of her talent. Interesting idea, Shisumu. Interesting idea. We will get there. We're kind of building, right? We're kind of building from the ground up here. Rusia literally is just being introduced here. So we got a lot of building to do from now to the climax of the story, right? So we'll figure it all out and we'll make a good story. We've made a great story so far and we'll make it even better. The Banaga is real. <laughs> We're gonna have a One Piece is real moment with our damn it. Got a bit of a lag spike. We should be back now. Okay. So this is where Amaya should probably jump in and just be like. I was, I was looking around new castles, and I kept hearing about, or I, I was just, I was exploring new castles because it was my first time here, and I 
kept seeing things about an, a man named Cassus. Hey, oh, tasty in chat? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's tasty. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I'll see you, Stormbreaker. Have a good meal, my guy. Amaya's gonna say, I was exploring new castles because it's my first time here. My, it was. Because it's my first time here. And I kept seeing things about, and I kept seeing things about a man, a man named Castles. Who is Castles? And then... Rusia will jump back in. Damn it. The goat, the myth on God. And then Rusia's gonna say, Castles was the man who started Benerica. Castles was the man who started Benerica. Before. Before castles and the Benericans came along. Before castles and the Benericans came along, right? He is the guy, yeah. Castles is the guy. Our region was run by the natives. Before castles and the Benericans came along, our region was run by the natives. It was called Bongolia. When castles and the Benericans and the Benericans arrived, they were not welcome. I'm gonna use the restroom, guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Never made 
We're back, guys. Sorry about that. All right. When the castles and the Benericans arrived... They weren't very welcome. When castles and the Benericans arrived, they weren't very welcome. This started the Civil War, which is... Subway surfaces back, oh my god. <laughs> this started the Civil War, War which is where... Benericans took over which is well this started the civil war which is when Venerica was founded the Bongolians were given a place to be a part of our region the Bongolians were still given a place to be were still given a place to be a part of our region even after the civil even after the war. And this is why Castles was a great man. Castles was a great man. Then she's going to uh, reference the player. Player. You were Bongolian. Or, or, not you were. You're Bongolian. Right? I see us all, I see us all as equals. And it doesn't phase me whether you believe the legends are true or not. Either way, I'm sure you can see that what Team Light is doing is very wrong. Either way, I'm sure that you can see that what Team Light is doing is very wrong. I have an eye for strength. I have an eye for strength. Bada bam. I am Granddad Castles, beloved leader and father of Venerica. That is true, Castles. <laughs> I have a good eye for strength is probably better than just an eye. I have a good eye for strength. Bada bam. Huge lore dump. Um This will be a this is like a big turning point in the story, so it's good to have this. We're still given a place to be a part of our region even after the war. Castles is a great man. Player, you're Bongolian, right? I see us all as equals, and it doesn't faze me whether you believe the legends are true or not. Either way, I'm sure that you can see that what Team Light is doing is very wrong. I have a good eye for strength. And I'm pleased that... And I'm pleased that you have a good heart for the people and I'm pleased that you have a good heart for the people Amaya's gonna jump in and be like wow I didn't know you were a Bongolian player I didn't know you were a Bongolian player So, I think this is when Amaya is going to jump in and be like, um, 
Hey, Rissia, aren't you a gym leader as well? We're about to end, uh, Suge. We're, we're just kind of finishing this, and then we're probably good. Hey, Rissia, aren't you a gym leader as well? And then Rissia is going to say... If you want... If you want to earn my badge, I'll... I'll be serving time at the, the gym in a little bit. If you want to earn my badge, I'll be serving time at my at my at the gym in a little bit. Captain. Wait, we doing a gym now? I paced out for a second. This happens right before we get to fight the gym. Captain. Escort these two out of the building. And then Gazer's gonna jump in and be like... Sir, yes sir. <laughs> Blue text. Sir, yes sir. And then the event's gonna end. Green goes to black. Gonna wait the frames. Needs to play the sound effect that we exit a door because it makes it sound better. It's gonna transfer the player back into Newcastle's. Right here, or we'll we'll put them right here. Yeah, right there works. He's gonna be facing up, and then it's gonna change the color of the screen back to normal. It's gonna wait eight frames. I also want to turn on the switch. Um. Escape event over. Bada bam. Just like that. Makes it easier on my end. And then when this is on, it'll be an action button, of course. So escape event over is on. Into Newcastle's kill up. Smasumu. Shish gold. Shish gold. Wait, what? No worries, you're going out. Hey, yo, you're watching One Piece? Yo. Hell yeah, bro. If you're watching One Piece instead of my stream, that is so fucking... That is the best excuse you could possibly use, in fact. <laughs> that is the best excuse. I don't even take excuses in the first place, because y'all do not have to be here. But I obviously appreciate when y'all come and hang out with me, you know? And, uh, Sugar, Sugar, you still here? Sugar Snaps, you still here? If you are, personal thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's honestly awesome. You're at 650. Dragona, we're in the same, um, hold on. So when I first started watching your streams, I was around episode 100. Now I'm at around 650. Dragona, I'm at 652. I'm literally, I'm at 660, uh, 661 is where I'm at right now. Personal thank you to you, Sugar Snaps. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, honestly. Um, means the world when we get new people in here. Everybody always likes- I like to joke around and everybody always likes to joke around. Whenever we get, uh, like, new people in here, it's, like, very, um... I wasn't in the watch party because you were two minutes ahead of me. That's so funny, Dragona. Um, we- it's a running gag around here that new people get treatment, and it's kind of true, just because I, I love when new people come around. New people come and hang out with us. I love seeing the reactions to everything that we made, and the reactions to all the memes as they kind of pop up. So I'm happy to have you here, Suga. Honestly. You don't realize how crooked the space you're renting is until you start to move shit around. My room is so uneven, it's driving me mad. I feel you just. <laughs> I didn't get treatment, Smash God. 
I didn't even notice you were fucking here, bro, until like until you started causing havoc in the Discord. And I didn't know that reincarnation was Smash God either. But it's also different when like new people all come in at once. Like if it's just like cause we've only had like three people here. Um, like three new people here this stream. But when we have like 20 new people all in one stream, obviously it's kind of hard. New people are the future of CMG. We love y'all. Yeah, exactly. The new people are the future. Happy to be here. I'm happy you're here, Noonstar. So bam, the event ends like this. We get a lore dump. We have a whole entire event fucking trying to escape. Cool shit. Cool shit. Cool shit. Bam, the event's done. Alright, before we end stream... I want to do one more thing. I want to figure out what happens on this boat. Obviously, we get on a boat to get to New Castles. This is where we meet up with Amaya. This is when we fight Amaya for the very first time. Um, I might work on overworld sprites for Soro slash Sigloid because even if they're not playable, Miles would use them. Um, Miles, there's already overworld sprites for those mods. Uh, like, you don't even have to do them. There's a resource pack with all of them. And I almost knew I got one comment of, I like this design. She looks like a warlord, but maybe I'm just biased for new people. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, gets hijacked or Amaya battles you. That was right before I got here. There's nothing up with the boat right now. It's literally, we just fight Amaya. That's literally all it is so far. When Mystic Umbreon makes their vid, I expect the first stream after to be the half time spent doing with annoying new guys and the other half grading cool new guys. That's kind of how it is, Jess the Seal. Every time we get a, a, a storm of new people, that's exactly how the stream is. I make like five trainers and two NPCs the whole stream and maybe like do one event if and a whole three hour stream because the whole entire time I'm spent explaining shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's how those streams are. And they're still a lot of fun. Like, there's still a lot of fun because there's a lot of funny moments in those. Castles was a quiet guy. He was a quiet guy at first. Now he's a mod. Okay. So what else is going to happen on this boat? Obviously, we're going to have military captains inside of here. Um, They're going to get this table. So we got Captain Pond Cakes. We kind of meet Captain Pond Cakes here. Uh, but nothing really happens with him. He's just kind of here, you know. He is just sort of here. All three of the captains are kind of just chilling together on their way here. Uh, and so we have Captain Harry TDK, which we haven't made yet. But they're all here. Seems like a really cool project. Might submit a fake on for this. Yo, I appreciate you, Fluffy Bunny. Thank you so much for popping in with us. Maybe you can make a frequently asked question. You can send the link in chat for new chatters. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the move. Um, that, would make, that would make the most sense. But it also feels less personalized. And then uh, a lot of people were kind of like, just like, ah, I don't want to read no document. And then they just leave, you know, but it's whatever. I'm not really worried about it. If it saves me time, it'd be a lot better to do it that way. So we got the three military captains hanging out in here. We need like an event on the boat, you know? Um, obviously, you can have just like a couple trainer battles, like in these cabins and bullshit like that. About becoming a Sprider? Let's go, Shugga, honestly. Uh, have you sprited stuff before? If you have, go ahead and send me stuff that you've done before. Um, go ahead and send me stuff you've done before, if you have done anything, or just art in general. And then I'll give you a prompt, and then you can become a sprider that way. It's just as simple as that. Boat randomly take on fire. I don't think a hijack would make sense for this boat. Oh, let's go, Sugar. Actually, let's check it out on stream. I'm putting you on the spot, Sugar. Message request. Yes, I got you. I got you. Oh, you are a good Sprider. Look at this shit. Yo, you use black outlines. We do not use black outlines. We uh, do Pokemon style. But other than that, this is great. You'd be really good at trainer sprites, for sure. We do a lot of trainer sprite stuffs. Yo, I fuck with it. Oh my god, look. Oh, that's so cool. It's really detailed. I like it. House right here. House could use some work. The house could use some work, but it's good. It's good. Um. Oh, so you've like made. Have you made your own game before? I really like this style, by the way. This style is super cool. 
But have you made your own game? House would just need more texture. Yeah, it's really just a texture thing for the house. Oh, that's Dora? Wait, what? <laughs> Is this Dora or not? I'm confused. And then I'll respond to Harry TDK after after stream ends. But yeah, this is really good. Dora the Explorer. It's so funny. Weird. Why did my stream music just stop out of nowhere? Sure, I'll play this one. The old ones were from a game I wanted to make but never got to. That's why the house isn't finished. Oh, you're all good, Shiga. Oh, we... I have so many projects. In fact, I have a whole entire Pokemon fan game that I've never finished. Oh, uh, that's just kind of sitting in my computer right now. You see Perry in the ship for some reason that takes a finish. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, shit. There's not really anything good, like any good events that could take place on a ship, honestly. That hasn't been done already. Like rubbing the captain's back. Maybe we do something wrong by accident and we can get turned into a chore boy, like what happens in One Piece on the, uh, on the, on the restaurant, the floating restaurant. <laughs> and we have to take food to, like, passengers and shit, and then they'll battle us. Everybody's saying that the ship would get hijacked by Team Light, which is fun, but it's just, why would they? There's no reason why Team Light would hijack the ship. Do not touch button and it exploded. That sounds just like a chore. I mean, yeah, it's kind of what it is. It would keep us busy, though. Like, it'd keep the player busy. There's some trainer battles in there. Transporting cargo. Mostly optional stuff, right? But then would it just be like a timer, basically? Like, you know, just like a timer that kind of just like counts down that tells you uh, when the ship arrives. The power made a binarium, so they steal it and have to find a way to go to make the boat move again. Oh. Yeah, and the required battle could be the fight with Amaya. Titanic, bro? Is the ship gonna wreck? Like a part made of Binarium and then they have to replace it? It'd be a decent idea to get Team Light involved in this. Catch a lot of water Pokemon to push the boat. I wouldn't want to force the player to catch any Pokemon. A rocket squid crashes into the ship. That's funny, Miles. See, there's like no good events that can happen on a ship, honestly, besides just chores. There's like no good events at all. Maybe give the player multiple options so you can catch a bunch of watermons or go on a side quest to get a replacement propeller. Would it be a propeller? I have an engine room right here. It doesn't really look like an engine, it's just a blob of machinery, but you know what? It fucking works. I have to save a man overboard. <laughs> Let's add stuff for everything to make the game shock full. You gotta not make it annoying. Yeah, that's the hard part, is making the stuff that's in the game not annoying, because that's like what a lot of newer games are like. Uh, newer Pokemon games. There's like too many like quests and bullshit that nobody cares about. And um, that's what makes the game so boring and like unreplayable and everything feels like a chore. Um, and I like the route that we've gone with this game because everything feels interesting, right? Like we have one chore at the Binarium factory, but there's cool conveyors and shit and that's what makes it fun. And then we got to escape a fucking prison, which that's just cool by nature, right? Honestly. And then other than that, we don't have any other quests that we have to do besides gym puzzles. Other than that, it's like all open world, honestly. Our game's very open. There's not much shit going on. Ship hide and seek. Bro, Amaya plays hide and seek with the player. The ruins is optional. You don't even have to go to the ruins. If there's too much every moment of the game, then it's like a cave, just a pain. You gotta have downtime, right? I 
infiltrate building through sewer is gonna be a thing though. Yes, that is a thing. Here's a quest idea, Blungian the captain to death he was wearing yellow. Oh my god. The the ship takes place before the yellow incident, guys. Jesus Christ. Let me go in and put the captain here, because I have him. He's somewhere here. The gazer was actually the one who made him. Here he is. Captain right here. Gazer made a custom overworld sprite for him. Kill three men because they look at you funny. Jesus. Uh, Lapras is not in our game. Uh, we have a Pokedex document, if you're interesting. I mean, we have a bunch of rooms that we can do shit, but we can, again, like uh, he just said, one quest, but everything else is optional. Like, a bunch of optional shit in these cabins. Pokemon Ranger 2, where a key gets stolen and swallowed by a Sharpedo, and the player needs to chase and defeat it to get it back. We don't even have Surf yet, so Dive wouldn't really work in this point in time, Shiga Snaps. We don't even have Surf yet. In fact, that's why we're taking the boat in the first place. No ice types in the decks yet. Probably gonna make one. There's a couple, but they're not like in the area of the game right now. But Gen 9 to 8 features. If you beat all the trainers in a route, you get something special. Only on routes where you can skip the trainers. What TMs do we have? Yeah, we can have TMs available in here too. That could work. Mistakes the captain for a team later. So they all start working around the ship because the captain didn't question it. Thought, well... Might as well employ these new people. <laughs> That's a funny idea, Moonstar. <laughs> I don't know how that would be incorporated into the game, though. As of now, you get on the ship, right? You go down here, and there's nothing to do, nowhere to go. And then we go up, try to go up these stairs right here. And Amaya interrupts and is like, oh, let's battle. And then we battle her. And then, uh, the event doesn't end from here. I don't know where to go with this. What are you guys saying true to? It'll probably be a while from now, Jess, after we finish the fourth gym. So, probably like 20 days, maybe. Vehicular manslaughter TM. I think we're pretty bone dry on ideas for uh, what could happen in the ship. So I guess we can just do something simple. Maybe we go sleep in our bed. And that will pass the time. With the option to explore and find items and battle trainers. Dead child and sofa. You guys on. That would allow you to, to become closer to your moms. Sleep with a Maya, what the fuck? Someone robs Benarium, so we have to stop them. I just don't see a reason why Benarium would be on this boat, because the government's obviously trying to take control of it, right? Not to use it to build boats. They're taking control of it. So they can awaken Banaga, because they know Banaga exists, or at this point in the story at least. Um, and they're all in District 19 trying to awaken Banaga, but they need to find Benarium. That's why they put control on it, because they're trying. But the issue is that the last amount of Benarium is just Renalock. Like, the, the last amount of uh, Benarium that would awaken Banaga is literally just Renalock, because he's made of the shit. <laughs> which is the evil team leader, which is the team light leader, by the way. So the government, by quite literally, cannot awaken Banaga until Renalock tries. I like that, CT. I like that as an idea. Um, where all Pokemon in your party just get upped in friendship um, uh, by, uh, by being on the boat. The drama should happen later, either when we return from Newcastles or if we use the boat again to go to the jungle. Just kill and scrap Renalock. We don't really know yet that part. Yo, what's up, Ono Dadsel? Um, we're trying to figure out what the hell we're gonna do on this boat, Dad. Do you have any actual good ideas? Please don't joke around. Dad, do you have any good ideas for an arc that we can do on this boat? 
like just think of a random arc honestly it doesn't have to be related to the pokemon or even the story just like a random little mini arc that doesn't feel like a chore that feels like that's actually intriguing if that makes any sense hello father it is oh no dad's home dad is here we watch, uh, we watch anime in, in Dad's watch party every single night. Uh, or not every single night. Every night that he's supposed to stream, which I don't think he's streaming tonight because his Wi-Fi is broke. But Dad, go hard. To have any actual plot here. Yeah, it doesn't even have to, it doesn't have to be an actual plot. It could just be like a little thing. Dad a goat. Dad is a goat. Put a couple having a divorce side quest right there. Right there. That's what I've been looking for. Just something like that. Something stupid. It doesn't have to relate to the story. Or maybe like the character can come back later. But it doesn't have to like uh, go like with the overall story. Is the stream over? Should I get ready for watch party? Yes, we're gonna end stream here soon, Dad. But... A whole entire, a little mini arc where we have to rekindle a relationship's couple. Like, a, a relationship could be really cool. Like, they break up on the boat, we have to help them out. Like, honestly, that that's a really cool little arc right there, and I like that. That's what I was like, that, that's kind of what I've been asking for. It doesn't even have to relate to the story. And maybe we can tie them back into later points of the game. Like, this is the thing. Like, we can do little tiny shit like this, and maybe later on, we can find a way for them to be important to the story. Like, maybe the, the girl and the couple is an important character from later uh, later on, right? Foreshadowing. Good hindsight, if that makes any sense. Um, This is my fucking black document, and I don't know why it's, like, so dark and weird like this. But this is where I kind of organize everything with CMG. Like, TMs and a bunch of bullshit. Um... So, I have, like, for right here, New Castles, Declan and Miles visit Rusia, telling her Team Light, player visit the radio station, where it's publicly announced that Team Light's a problem, should be stayed away from, player gets arrested by military guns, taken to base, then confronted by Rusia, lots to introduce, player's dad is the builder of Renalock and Team Light founder, and Jump Scare has no lore, see, I just kind of keep stuff around here, uh, in this document. Young love is cool and you should cherish it. No regrets. If you like someone, express it. And Amaya takes that to heart. That'd be funny. Shipping Amaya in the in the main character is so funny. Like, I love that idea. Like, it'll never actually happen, but just like little shipping things like that. It'd be really funny. But yeah, the player's dad did build Renalog. I have been 45 minutes, 40, 40, 54 minutes behind. Wondering why Tasty is ignoring me. That's so funny, dad. <laughs> Maybe there's a closed off area somewhere later on, but one of them is a position of power and lets them do because they owe the player favor for saving the marriage. Right, right. Something like that should get snaps. Something like that could be really cool. Alright, so I'll put a little note here that says arc on ship where player um slash Amaya rekindle a couple's relationship. Look at that. Beautiful. It was when you were showing the Giga Chad PNG. That's so funny, Dad. No stream was no, a stream is not over. Oh, was not over, but I'm actually about to end stream right now. Castles. He had a child in his basement for what? Hold on. What did Shisumu say? That y'all are telling no for. Shisu, no. What did Shisu say? Jump scare gets arrested for possession of. Ch oh my God! No, no, we're not doing that. Jesus Christ! I just burped. But I'll get set up for watch party. Let's go. Let's go. Don't go back. Yeah, I'm, I wish I didn't. I really wish I didn't. Uh, Shisumu. Okay, y'all. Um, I have that note put down. So that's what I'm going to... Uh, I'll put a little mini arc like that. Probably, probably off stream. Or I might do it in like Discord watch party. We do... I sometimes make the game in Discord. Just like stream it. For anybody who wants to watch. And then take ideas that way. Mewing, yeah. I'll mew again. I got you. One more time. I fucked it up that time. I did not do good. That was not funny. Just reminding in case, send me the whole event, Tasty. I got you, Shisumu. Alright, y'all. 
We have nine dollars in super chats today. Thank you guys so much, so much. Honestly, it really means the world. Um, we are going to raid. Don't leave yet, y'all, because we gotta give a tasty raid. Of course, we gotta get a tasty raid. Who do you guys want to raid? The bald gamer or Ember? Ember Z painter or the bald gamer? What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Someone suggest Ember? <laughs> to Ember. Please read my message before you leave. I got you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sugar, where are you at? Where's your message? I don't think your message sent through, Sugar. Maybe there's a closed off area somewhere later on, but one of them is a position of power. Oh, I already read that. Um, I don't think your last message sent, uh, Sugar Snaps. Bald, bald. Two balds, mostly embers, so I think we'll go with ember. Actually, do you guys want to try to find somebody new to raid that we've never raided before? It did send your on top chat. I didn't see it. I don't see it. <laughs> Sugar, DM it to me. I don't see it. It didn't pop up for me. There's a button? You need to go to all chat? What do you mean? It's not on here either. I went to all chat. It's not there either. Yeah, I didn't see it. I'm not seeing it on the screen, huh? Yeah, I didn't see it. Sugar Snaps, uh, DM me it. Just DM me on Discord it. Because, uh, YouTube likes to censor like a little bitch sometimes. Um, let me find... Let me find somebody new to raid, y'all. That we might like. Um, Pokemon. I'm just gonna get, put Pokemon. We're gonna go to live. And let's find somebody new to raid. Live, there it is. Hmm. Starting and finishing Pokemon Snap in one stream. We got the bald gamer he's streaming to. The Phantom Knight's doing a fire red, uh, fire red, uh, Nuzlocke. Looking for something cool. Where's something cool? There's like a lot of people live right now. Level up, low fight. Alright, I found somebody. They're doing Infinite Fusion, which I don't like Infinite Fusion, but we'll raid him. Uh, he seems like a really cool guy. Um, see if he pops up on live redirect. Redirect privileges needed. Ask cast and to add you to the live redirect list. Damn. It won't let me live redirect him. No, everybody's leaving. We're gonna raid somebody. Shit. Alright, we'll do Ember then. Alright. I'm gonna try to find new people to raid, uh, eventually, so. That being said, y'all, I guess we'll never know. Yeah, it, it, he doesn't allow live redirects, which sucks. He just missed out on a cool raid, but it's all good. All right, y'all. Have a fantastic night. Hashtag Tasty Raid in Ember Stream. She's a really cool person. I, like, she's awesome. Go check her out. Go hang out with her. If you don't want to hang out with her, at least drop a Tasty Raid. I'll see you guys.